When I plan to act pompous, you shall certainly know. With a broomstick! Biggest, most jacked guy, and please let me come. Why don't you eat the cheese out of your mother's vagina before you kill her? This, this is the most mature audience's only shit you've ever heard. Period. From Boston. From Boston. Broadcasting all over the world. The world. Send the soy boys home. Cause we ain't gonna sugarcoat shit. Drop down, I'm give it to you. This, this is. This is. The Joe Cronin Show. Now, now, here's Joe here's Cronin. Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin.
How's everybody doing? It's a big, big, big Friday night explosion in my pants tonight. I got to tell you that. I'll tell you that. I hope all you guys are hard as hell tonight. Let me tell you that. We got uh, we got Dan Kennedy on deck on a Friday night. You got Devious Dave Rose on deck on a Friday night. I uh, had a sore throat all day today, so my throat still kills me. So if I'm a little bit lackluster sounding tonight, I just want to let you know why. That's right, for the seventh time in four months, I've got a sore throat again. All my kids had one recently, so I'm assuming I caught it again from them. So, yay. How's everybody doing in the chat? I hope you guys are wet tonight. Smackdown's on. A lot of shit going down. Every Friday night it is now Friday Night Throwdown. So I hope you guys remember that it's Friday Night Throwdown every Friday night. It's the fourth week in a row of Throwdown returning on a Friday night. And monetize this gets the boot to Saturday nights for the people that are just tuning in for the first time in months. Monetize this Saturday nights. Friday night throwdown is about an hour to two hours long. So we're here with you for an hour or two. Maybe maybe a little bit longer, depending on how things are. And we'll keep doing it every Friday if we can. If it makes sense. I woke up really early this morning, so I have been uh I have been sick today. I worked I worked I thought about calling in and not going into work today because I was I didn't feel good. And I um I went in though. I'm glad I did, I guess, but Woof! I am jacked up. So I hope you guys had a better day than me. So, uh, yeah, get hard. Yeah, in July I had COVID, and in uh, a month later I got the flu, and then I was sick with weird sore throats and neck things, and I had a gallbladder problem recently and all these other things, and who knows what's wrong with me. Maybe I've got Hodgkin's or, like, a tumor or something. I don't know. Maybe I have uh, something else we don't know about. But I know it hurts to talk. I know that. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. You want to see my bang stick? I don't know why, but my bang sti stick clip isn't playing. So I can't even play the bang stick clip for you guys. I don't know why that is, but okay. My computer is literally freezing whenever I open anything. So, and if you don't believe me, look at this. Look at this. What the fuck is this? I'm just searching for one file. So my computer's fucked. I don't know what's wrong with it, um, but okay. So we don't have the bang stick, uh, stick clip. So that kind of blows. No bang stick clip. Because my computer is dying. Chat. Bang stick. Bang stick. What up, Dave? How are you doing tonight? I thought about canceling the show tonight because of how sick I am. But uh, oh, sorry, you got, coming down with the vid again? I mean, God damn it! I thought after the second time you got an immunity, but I guess the Chinese nope. are really pumping up that fucking uh, weapons-grade virus out there. Oh yeah. Well, I think well, that all my I'll hold it down for you. All my kids had uh, sore throats last week, and you know, the, so I got it now. So. So it's the kid vid now. The kid vid. Uh, they just keep bringing home stuff. The kid vid. Yeah, they bring everything home. Dude, and it's because of the time off with COVID, because we we're at home and we skipped all the sicknesses. So they're all getting every one of them, and then I'm getting them. So it's, it's like, like, yeah, thanks, kids. Uh, you're really just handing them off to me. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see what happens if you take two years out of society, and then you go back into society, and then you get 
all the colds that you would have gotten. I don't know. I think there's something in the water there because, uh, you know, the, the, who was it? The, the uh, ghost of the coast was saying in the chat, like, why are you always getting sick? Like, uh, uh, come on, man. Like, there's something. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I never used to. Water or something there because. Well, there uh, is something, something in the water. We can't drink the water. Uh, that's probably why. Do you shower it, though? Yep. In, in, what is yep. it? it? Can, uh, um, well, that would be probably a problem. I mean, you might want to get one, you know, get onto Infowars uh, Shop dot com and uh, get one of those filters. I have to, a carbonated, uh, um, I have a carbonate, carbonated filter thing that blocks. Um, what's the stuff in the water that I need to block? The, the chlorine. Yeah, but does it blo block fluoride or any other crap? That, fluoride, it, chlorine. It, it, people, people drop like this is the. People are so stupid. They they drop like pharmaceutical drugs into the toilet and flush it down, mm -hmm. and that goes into the water, uh, and people get affected by that. Yeah, it can be diluted, but it still gets collected. I mean, well, it's insane that people do this shit. But yeah, well, it's just well, this this does protect against us because at first they said we didn't need. It. I'm like, yeah, you do because whatever. Well, if it's not from uh, Infowars. I don't I don't believe you. This this guy was like, listen, man. The water is hot when you're taking a shower, and the and the steam it like takes out the chlorine. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It turns into steam, and then you breathe it. I'm exactly. like, exactly. You got what it. You talking about? You got it. It actually becomes ionized, and you breathe it in, which is much easier to absorb such things. So that's the worst thing. You don't want right. that ionized. Dude, it's, it's so ridiculous. Like these people, like, and then I'm like, yeah, it does get you. Chlorine does get taken out when you boil it at like 400 degrees for an hour. <laughs> that's not what's happening here, you know? And then there's other crap. There's other crap in the fucking water that needs to be fucking diluted before you can even take a shower, but there's no filters for that, at least, you know, unless you buy them from Infowars.com. You're right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a weird thing, man. The world is fucked right now, but I don't know. I never used to get sick, so now I'm sick every... Maybe I've got lymphoma or something, I don't know. I don't know. I, you, you look a little pale. Maybe a little more iron might help you out with your uh, well, I, you know, spinach, dude. Spinach has a lot of iron in it. No, I've, uh, I've been eating great. I'm down to one ninety seven. You know, I'm fucking. It's you know what it, it, you know what it is is it's just the kids are sick. That's all it is. If they if the kids hadn't had sore throats like yesterday, you know what I mean. Now I have one. I know what it is. You know what I mean. It's not like. No, nah, come on, man. You're an adult. You shouldn't be susceptible to kid viruses. Come on. That's usually what used to happen. Yeah, the kids would get sick, and I wouldn't get it. I'd be like, yeah, because I got it at one point when I was a kid. experience what they've gone through, so that you should not be susceptible to any sort of virus that they fucking bring in. Yeah, that's how it used to be, but not this past I year. Ever since COVID, I I haven't I've been getting sick every week. Well, that's you did you did um, take that one jab. You did take the first jab, so. Maybe that yeah, the people said I should yeah, you should take a second one. That's what everybody said. You need the yeah, second one. That'll make you worse. That but, probably uh, would have killed me. Uh, the second one. Apparently that protects the you more. Oh, wait. Doesn't help. Yeah. No, actually it makes you worse. It's already admitted that people who are in hospital right now are the ones that uh, did get the you know, stabby stabby. Yeah, I got both of them and I still ended up with fucking COVID. Yeah, and you believed everything that they fucking told you. So, yeah, because right. I because I was a I was trying to protect. I people. was a robot and did what they told me to. No, I, I left I wing. No one was you, the list. you know what? Why don't you go get in the back and fall fall off a bridge? <laughs> Whoa! I I didn't understand what you he said. He said go get in a bathroom and jump off a bridge. That's what he just said. I swear to God. How does, how does that work? Going in the bathroom and then jumping? I, I don't know. Oh, basket. Oh, a basket. Why, 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 okay. waste a, why waste a perfectly good basket? I'll just jump off. Like, why don't you put yourself in a basket and drown yourself in a river? That's... Not not you, Dave. Uh, the, the Russian. Oh, the, the Russian. Yeah, SmackDown is better than Raw, by the way, Rave Killer. Rave Killer. SmackDown was actually halfway decent tonight. What happened? I missed it. You just made the list. What? Uh, pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good match with uh, Ricochet and Gunter, or Walter, or whatever the fuck his name is. He reminds me of a uh, Minnesota Vikings fan if he was much more in shape. But mm. and uh, Rampage is starting right now. But. Rampage. You, you, has anybody made Rampage with like Paige getting rammed in the porno things and her all over the logo and everything? 
Not yet, I don't think. But uh, that, how has no one done that yet? It's a good idea, to be quite yeah. honest. Rampage, <laughs> and it's Xavier Page Woods here. just going at it. Page here. Page here. Oh, Page in my rear. Oh, that that, that uh, video that you did where we were on the show and uh, mm. you had sort of censored what was going on in that video, but we were all watching and uh, you had played the commentary from WWE. I think you had uh, JR. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that clip will live in infamy because we're watching, like, seriously, Joe set it up so that we're watching this and we're watching it, like, uh, uncensored. So on the chat, we're like, uh, you know, in the call, uh, I think it was Skype, we were watching it uncensored. Meanwhile, Joe has censored it on his video and is playing this uh, audio over it. And we are dying. We are dying fucking listening to this shit because the way that he played this clip, just it works so stupidly perfectly with what was going on in the video. And you know, the video was quite raunchy, but hearing JR like, by God, look what's going on. Like, <laughs> spirit, spirit, like, it just, oh my God. It, oh my God. If you were there on that call and you were seeing the actual uh, porno and then hearing mm. this shit go down and then, you know, looking at your other screen and seeing that, you know, Joe's got it censored, but it's the same thing. I died. I died. And everyone on that call fucking died. I loved that. Yeah, and I, someone brought that up in the chat that mm-hmm. night. It wasn't even mm-hmm. I don't remember who I would have given it credit, but I don't know who who came up with it. They were like, "Play Jr. over." Yes, they did say that. And I was like, "Hmm, I think that's what happened." And I just don't I don't remember who it was that suggested that. No, because but... we initially we like we initially started actually like we started to review it and stuff, and we were like saying like what ha- what would happen and i remember saying this what would happen if like this had wrestling commentary over it then somebody says that in the chat use jr and stuff you looked at that said that's awesome you played it and the rest is history and um we all swallowed each other great point. but it was it, oh my god it was such a great point in jcs history it's just i i can't remember what episode that is joe i don't know if you uh you can find it but uh Certainly, it was. Uh, I was dying. I was fucking dying. <laughs> we got wet. Let me tell you something. That was the night that uh, JB sold his sexuality to his friends. Remember that? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what a so, night. You know what's funny is uh, Leah's brother is over, and um, then Leah's brother's friend also. Uh, friend was, or was, husband? Or... No, no, friend from up the street that hadn't seen him in a while. Um, oh. And. He came over tonight, so they're all sitting. We're all sitting upstairs, and as they came over, uh, a big announcement for Diablo came out tonight, where there was this there's this bonus holiday event going on, and they never do anything in Diablo three anymore, but they were they're doing something. And it starts tonight, so I was like, "Whoa, guys, look at this!" So they logged on and everything, but then Leah was talking to her brother and and their friend about like JB and all these people and stuff, and I was like, "Yeah." I was like, they're all, those are all my former co-hosts and friends. Now they all fucking play World <laughs> like, and, and I was like, because they all, they're all talking to each other about what they're doing tonight and whatever. And I'm like, that's funny. And I was like, hey, Leah, why don't you steal another person from the show? Maybe you can have uh, Danny MT will join you in World War. I'm surprised she hasn't started her own show in competition of you. Right. Well, like, she kind of has, these- except it makes no money and just takes up all her time. But No, but at least start the show and be like, I'm going to air at the same time as Joe. I'm going to have all these people that I stole from him. You say that, you know, some people stole co-hosts from you, Joe. Well, guess what? Uh, I think Leah stole them all. Yeah, she stole the most at this point. <laughs> Scumbag. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey, I just thought it was funny because they were up there talking about them. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. Yeah. They used Ladies to be- and gentlemen, Isaac Rojas. Yo, that's Luke. John? <laughs> Fuck him. I'm just kidding. Danny MT, man. He's, he might kill somebody tonight. What's up, Danny? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to uh, behave myself, but uh, I'm. Did you say you Wait a minute. Did you just say you're trying to hate yourself? Is that what you just said? No, I said I'm trying to behave myself, but I just have this irk in that's me. That's what oh. I heard. People walking by, and I'm. You know, they seem so, like, solemn and fucking, like innocent and i just i just want to take that from them i don't want what? them to uh, have that happiness so okay. jesus I'm, christ time to see a therapist I'm, uh, 
I'm I'm trying my fucking best, dude. I'm trying my best. Dude, are you like one of those random violent people that just out of nowhere attacks people because you didn't like what they look like? No. no. I don't know, man. That took a long time to answer. I'm kind of. <laughs> it did. It did. No, and I I thought you would say something about that because when I was younger, yeah, like I was kind of that kind of asshole. Like I just don't like the way you look, and if you looked at me like fuck mm. you, you know, yeah, I would just pop off. But now that I'm old as fuck and getting osteoporosis and fucking prostate fucking cancer and shit, like not really, but anyways, um, it could. <laughs> Uh, Joe, D- Danny's like the guy from uh, Star Trek Voyager who killed that one guy just because the way he looked at him funny. He's like, <laughs> I didn't like his stare. <laughs> That's yeah, so like, weird. Just don't stare at me wrong. And just don't stare at me because if I'm sitting somewhere and I look over <laughs> and I see you looking at me, I'm not going to take my eyes off of you until you look away because you were already looking at me. Yeah. So if you continue to stare, it's like, okay. You're a fucking weirdo, and you are fucking staring me down. Then I'll have to get up and be like, hey, man, like maybe smack your fucking drink on your fucking shirt. You know, like, the mm-hmm. fuck is your problem? What if someone accidentally just happens to catch eyesight with you, eye contact with you, and you're like, this guy must try to start a fight with me. Okay, I'm no, going to break no, his fucking no. jaw. <laughs> That's not a little bit of an overreaction? Anybody can fucking catch eyesight for a second and then just look away and go about their business. Cool. But if I look over and you're already looking at me, I'm going to continue to look at you to see if you look away. But if you keep who's looking... Done, who's done that to you? There's what? a fucking problem. Like, dude, why are you fucking staring me down? So I'm going to address it. You ever, then, think, you, yeah. think, you ever think about cutting somebody up who does that? Like, looks at you? No, 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 no. No, no weapons. No weapons. Oh. Uh, just, just fists. No, I don't want to cut nobody up. I don't want to shoot. Russia, we bludgeon them to death. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just fucking fists, elbows, and knees. Mm. Uh, okay. Seems like it. an appropriate response for someone staring. Yeah. You know, just physical yeah. violence How until they're you? dead. What Stop. do you think? What do you Stop. think you deserve? Tell me, one of mm. you right now, what do you think you deserve if I'm sitting somewhere? Let's say I'm sitting at a fucking McDonald's and I'm I'm just looking sloppy eating a fucking Big Mac. Hmm. I look up and I see you just staring. So I continue to keep my eyes on you and you just continue to keep looking at me. Am I supposed to look away like, oh, that's awkward, like look yes. back? Yes, you look are. At me? No. Yes. Yeah. No, not at all. No. no. You look at me. Also, when, kind of Danny, when did, when did this happen? Huh? Has that, is that someone ever just like st- stared at you for like five minutes straight? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, I've looked you, over, you... looked away. You know, it started that way where I would look okay. over, look away, and then I look back again. You're still staring. Look away, look back again, and then it's like, okay, now you're looking at me for some kind of weird ass. Reason. So you to approach you and be like, what exactly is? want to fucking see on me dude like okay. and like, okay yeah. at that point did you go up to him and ask him what the problem was or did you keep looking back at him because the point is that if like what is this somehow affecting your ability to eat yeah he's staring at you maybe he's mentally ill chances are he probably is you need to take an issue with that really or maybe or maybe he was wondering why there's a- oh you didn't give me a chance to answer you dave i said that yes i go up i go up and i ask Initially, like, I don't just go up and hit somebody in the face like a weirdo. Like, no, oh. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is your problem? Why the and fuck? And then you kill them. <laughs> and then it'll either go like, oh, I'm sorry, it's not like Here's- that, or to be like, I don't know, I'm looking right. where I want to look. Kenny, like, Kenny oh, where's the damage? Where's the damage of somebody staring at you unless they're coming at you with a fucking knife or something? No, okay, you're so staring at you. Can so you really- and, I, and imagine what's going for that guy's mind when you come up to his table. It's like, oh, first this guy is like staring at me weird all night, and now he's going to beat me up? Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's thinking that you're looking at him weird. You know, and you probably give him that like because sadistic, I- like I- Russian I- glare, I- like, you will I- fucking I- die. <laughs> And I see somebody's eyes beaming on me. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Okay, that's kind of creepy. So you look away, like, whatever. I don't know. And then after a couple seconds, you look back over, and they're still beaming their eyes on you? 
No, so it's going to get to a point where it's going to stand up, and I'm going to ask you, like, what the fuck is it you're looking at? Why are you staring at me, bro? Like, you're creeping me the fuck out. What's what was this guy? What was this guy's response? Why did he stare at you? Well, this is not a guy. This has been several times. I've had people that are like, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was just looking that direction. Blah, blah. I'm like, okay, no, no problem. No, cool, 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 cool. Buy him a beer. You know, like, all right, sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought you were being a fucking weirdo, but right. I got you. You know? Yeah. yeah. And everything's fine. But I've had people that are being like, uh, what the fuck do you mean, man? I can look wherever I want. I'm like, well, you can look a lot of different places, but you're looking at me. So now there's an issue here. Like, what the fuck are you staring no, at me? No, no like, Danny, you're wrong, man. Up. It's not illegal to stare at anybody. And, you know, I, if you feel uncomfortable, no, right. well, that's your problem, really. Yeah, there's it's, psychos out there. Okay. And what are they and doing? You, are they hurting you? No. Who the fuck says it's illegal? You know, and you ever wonder if you ever wondered if, it's, you ever wondered if you're doing you something? It's free to look. You want to look at this awesome massiveness that is Dave Rose and his uh, <laughs> toilet bowl uh, touching cock? Okay, fine. Ooh. You know, but if you want action, it's going to cost you. But you can look for free. So what's it cost you, Danny? Yes, Why are you getting so fucking upset? I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you can take it. No, you go up way. to these guys. We're like, what's the deal? It's like, yo, you stare at me all you want. Fucking hey, faggot. I'm fucking awesome. You. And you I fucking know it. Talk to you, and you're staring at me for 10 minutes. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going get up. No, and I'm, I'm fucking. Of course you're, you're staring at me. I'm <laughs> fucking beautiful, baby. <laughs> no, no, you're going to get hit for that, too. Because I ain't down with that. I'm, I don't okay, do that. Okay, RP. that's your problem, then. Who Even gives a fuck if they're staring? Joe, Joe will go on and sit on the lap of a fucking drag queen and be like, hey, baby. So, like, mm. hey, who cares? Who but cares? Joe's different. Like, Joe can fucking pull shit off like that. I don't have the gift of fucking gab. Slap yeah, fucking Dan gab. Danny doesn't like gay people. The gift so, of gay. You know, that's probably why. <laughs> And it's also, Danny, you ever wondered if you're doing something to warrant all these stares? He looks so yeah. handsome. <laughs> That's the thing. Danny, you, you, you got to look less handsome. That's why we look at you. Nope. Nope. Why, not, I've been why told, is he beating that guy to death? <laughs> I've been sorry, in many I was fights. staring at the crime scene. <laughs> I've been in many fights, and I've been told by many people afterwards that say they heard about you. They know about it, so they want to test you. People get that liquid courage, and they're like, fuck him. You know, I bet I can take him. And so when you look up for three Are you like a celebrity? Huh? Are, are you like a celebrity or something? How do people know you? No, not a celebrity. You, you uh, like in the area that like, hey, this is this guy that will. So you're like a local celebrity? Yeah, like a local celebrity. Oh. But when it comes to fighting. So, psycho, psycho, fight, psycho fighting person, celebrity. Like I, I don't know. It, uh, like I wouldn't say psycho. I mean, I'm telling you right now, dude. Like I don't know what the fuck you would do, but uh, if I I'm staring at you for 30 minutes and you're looking over and you don't do anything about it, or at least ask, like, hey man, is there a problem? Um, maybe you're the psycho because it's weird that you wouldn't fucking uh walk up to that and address it, like. What do you? It doing? is weird. It is weird. It also sounds like it didn't happen, but you know <laughs> that's just me. Because like, oh yeah, he's looking <laughs> okay. at me. Everybody, everybody wants to wants to fight me because of my reputation. What do they pull out? Your like skill chart? Like, oh, this guy's got seventeen wins, <laughs> fifteen knockouts, no losses. Like, like, like what, who's staring you down, Danny? Honestly, okay. I mean, yeah, seriously, that's a good point. So, like, it's an old man that's looking at you, Danny. You I mean, care? You care an old man's looking at you? It's like, who cares? Because <laughs> <Nope. laughs> it's, it's the one's actually looking at him. <laughs> Maybe it was just a guy who was attracted to you. The way it is. I would never change that. I've gotten a lot better. I've calmed down a lot more. But yeah. if it gets Not to from the sounds of it tonight. Continuous? Wait a minute. Isn't, oh. Aren't you moving to Massachusetts? No, that was a fucking no. joke. You are? No, wait. No, no, no. Never mind. I take, I take that back. Yeah, no. I'm getting... I'm getting uh, Moved to Massachusetts, yes. Uh, in the uh, Winthrop area, yeah. Ooh. Hey, Joe, how long before we see him on the local news? Uh, tonight? A month or less. 
Maybe that's how. Maybe that's how, maybe that's how he you. became a local celebrity. <laughs> All the police reports. Yeah, he's, 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 you know, like you know, that's the thing though. Before cops shut down their fucking uh, production, he was featured basically every Friday night. You know, <laughs> what would be better is to make Danny a cop, an honorary cop, and it's a show where Danny's a cop. Like, and he has to try to keep his cool, even though they can be, like, more like a cop, you know, but, so, like, instead he's, like, gets, yeah, he gets angry and he beats up, like, criminals and breaks all these laws. After the second episode. (laughs) Right. Oh, my God, it'd be great. It'd be, like, oh, God. Danny's, like, get get on the the ground. Suspects of death. Yeah, we have to cancel the show. We can't have this guy as the fucking star. Danny's, like, pull give me your ID. And the guy's, like, I don't have to show you my ID. And then Danny just slaps the fuck out of him. Oh, yeah, 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 you, neck, well, you violated the uh, this guy's rights in the First Amendment and all kinds of things. And Danny's like, I don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, but he was he was fucking staring at me, <laughs> it, the, sir. The man, sir, the man's blind. <laughs> I don't fucking give a shit. I'll beat sight into him and then fucking knock it out of him again. Yeah, even more reason I'm why you should psycho. be looking at me. <laughs> why are you looking at me, you blind fuck? <laughs> like, he's just talking hey, shit. Mister, can you can you give me a few dollars? Well, that's how so bitch. Him, he has to stick out and he's tapping it on the ground. He's safe. But he, if he doesn't have the fucking white and fucking Just red. Just don't look at me, blind man. Just don't look at me. Mm. I'm not even know where I'm looking. <laughs> well, then you better not come outside and fucking go outdoors. You better stay inside and fucking order your fucking groceries from Walmart. Don't be a part of fucking society because it might be somebody like me that are going to. Danny hates blind so so, Danny, you're acknowledging that you're the problem in that situation. Mm. Nope, not at all. No, no, no. It's just, uh, that's it's what just a typical it's, corrupt uh, cop would say. Yes. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't be a cop because <laughs> I would be a horrible cop and I would be in jail so quick and I would get killed because. Oh, you're telling us? Oh, I'm surprised. Totally surprised. <laughs> Imagine you beating up just people for no reason. Come on, of a... course that'd be his fucking MO. With a baton. Like, oh, it's. It's ass being tough. It's like, no, no, no. This this is a, a kitten in a tree. No, I want to beat some ass. No, no. Hey, we called we were called out to rescue a kitten in a tree. Oh well, who can I beat? Uh, whose ass can I beat? Oh, black guy. You, 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 you. Oh yeah. wow. Okay, Dave. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh no, Dave. Dave. He'll he'll attack the black guy. He'll attack the black guy because because Tommy told him to. <laughs> Tommy oh, told him God. to beat up the black guy, so he listens to what he says. <laughs> He's a chief of police. <laughs> Casey is raw. <laughs> Maybe he has two glass eyes, Casey oh, Ross. Guys, oh, brutal. Yo, li- listen. I, listen, imagine like, so what? I got neuropathy. Don't so I'll just start touching people? Fuck off. Hey, listen. Imagine if uh imagine if Danny the guy's like Did you the guys admit like, that you like to touch people? No, but I well yeah, I do. Um imagine the That's guy's like good. the guy's like, um, but I'm the one that called the cops. And Danny's like, shut the fuck up. And then he smacks him in the head with his nightstick. No, if he was the one that called, he was touching on me. Nah, you're the type of cop who shoots somebody when they're like, like, what's the problem here? Like, why did you call me and what's upsetting you? Like, I would let that slide. Uh, Yeah, don't. I wouldn't be comfortable with it. It'd be creepy, but like, no, like, don't let it be. Call me and be like, touching all over me and be like, hey, man, (laughs) hey, this dude next door. I think he's doing something weird, but he's like rubbing on my chest, like, dude, just just back up for a minute and like let me know where the dude is at. Like, which house? You know, like let me go get him. Uh, <laughs> what? I'm, what? Willing, I'm willing to beat him. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what he's <laughs> talking about, but that's awesome. I'm gonna go get he's him, but don't even Dave, you don't know, like, tell me. Weird, like fucking medical term, like where you touch people. I say, like, I wouldn't fucking hit somebody if they, like, called me and they're, like, touching my arms and say, like, hey, man, need help. Like, I'm not going to hit them because they're touching me. Like, bro, back up. Like, what's the fucking problem? And mm. they tell me, like, oh, it's the neighbor. Like, they're, I think he's raping somebody. Like, okay. What, well, story? The what is out. this Let's story? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hit the guy that's weird that has a medical problem that's, like, touching my shoulder. Like, can you but I, li- I like how your example is like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't beat up somebody who's touching my arm. And then you have to go into the detail it's of what that guy's, oh, why that guy is touching your arm. Well, yeah. It has to be a, uh, he's has touching to be. my arm because he's trying to tell me about this other guy that I should fuck. Like, he goes into details of his examples and he gives character arcs and everything. I mean, Danny's a genius. 
He should write for Netflix. Okay, so what do you think you what do you think I should do to you then if you called me and you're rubbing on me? Like so then would it be better that I just pop you in your fucking job because you're being a weirdo rubbing on me? Or no, I'm saying I'm saying what your story is. Your story is I I wouldn't I wouldn't let somebody if somebody came up to me and like was rubbing on me I wouldn't punch that guy but then you go into detail about how that guy is somehow dealing with like a a pedophile or some sort of problem at his house and that you have to go deal with it like because you're like the moralistic hero of the story and every story you tell but you know (laughs) they were coming up with leadership you would be the guy that I would actually have to be the one time that I have to punch. If you call you mean you mean the multiple times that you've had to punch because every every story you've told has ended with so basically I had to threaten this guy and uh, say I was gonna kill his family but you know I'm not a violent guy I don't punch no, people I never said anything well, about you know, kill- meanwhile I finished uh, killing uh, the fortieth child in that uh, in that group but I'm not a violent person at all. So. <laughs> Like, how are you going to tell me you'd be one of the few people I did hit, but then go on a whole tirade about how if someone's looking at you, you'd, like, yeah, punch no, them in the no. head? You stared at me lo- wrong. You oh, stared at me wrong. Someone. You stared at me wrong. Oh, no, I guess I don't know. Flip a coin? I don't know which one it is. Flip a coin. Heads or tails, man. Heads, you fucking are good to go. Tails, you get fucking beat up. I no, I prefer the... the, the uh, uh, poll that I put in my chat, which is either Danny is oh, wrong or fuck you, no. is right. That was an unfair poll. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. And well, I'm the poll, still poll should be. I won that poll, so the, no, the poll yeah, should be. Yeah, you won the poll because you did some ho shit. I'm gonna do my fucking. I'm gonna get my fucking poster board, and I'm gonna like. I'll, I'll be sure not like to stare at you there, Danny. I'll be sure not to stare at you. The, the poll should be, is Danny a psycho or a bully? Don't stare at me, Dave. <laughs> he, he is truly a Russian bear. You, you, and again, if you know bears, don't look at them in the eyes uh, and try to slowly move away and not, you know, cause any immediate reactions. So, you know, again, with, with, with uh, Danny here, you know, you, you got to treat him the same way. Yes. Yeah. You know, Dave, you're safe. Even though I get mad at you, you're safe because we're blood. So it doesn't matter. Scare me in the eye, and I'll let you slide. You guys are blood? Anybody else? No. You guys are blood? You guys are blood? You let him let slide. <laughs> Don't look at him related. Again, he's, like, he, he's like the uh, Ark of the Covenant from fucking Indiana Jones. Don't look at him directly, guys. Mm-hmm. Don't look at him directly. Make him, make him mad. <clears throat> guys, I'll make too many jokes. You know, we're all having fun here. Don't have too much fun, because otherwise, you know, that's too much for me. But oh, I can talk about how I want to pound someone's skull into the ground if I disagree with them. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, you know. Hey, what's wrong don't, with that? Well, just, yeah, exactly. Just uh, respect your skull. Make sure it stays yeah. intact. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, did, Wait a minute. Did Moxley bleed again tonight? Again? Probably. Oh, my God. Most likely. All right, I got to piss. Why are you, why are you hating on Moxley? I like it. It's just, go oh, come on. Oh, you come on. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Joe. Uh, uh, tell me when I get back in. Uh, I got a pee pee. I'll bring it back. Uncle Howie, dude. It's com- someone else completely. Nobody cares. Uncle Howie is fucking stupid, and that whole that whole segment, it, it's crazy how that segment was so good when just. Uh, fucking LA Knight was talking and then as soon as Bray Wyatt got involved it, it turned into the same cliche shit that we've seen for the past like five weeks and what's annoying is they start to play like horror music while a promo is happening like imagine when the Undertaker and Kane were feuding back in 97 and they just started playing like generic horror track number seven <laughs> like all that suspense you know like when Taker returned with the lightning bolt and shit like oh my god he's back imagine they were playing like all this like fucking insidious music like it was way over the top I agree oh. with you but it's, it was funny as fuck I mean I wouldn't say it was funny it was more of just like confusing no, it, was, it, was, it was so stupid it's laughable in a way. Oh, but AEW. Oh. oh, Tony Khan. Oh, blah blah blah. Like I don't really have a problem with AEW. I'm not. I'm, and not I'm just saying. That, I'm not actually making fun of some of the viewers who have talked shit about AEW. It's just like it's an alternative. 
And if you're not happy with a with WWE as you guys aren't, you might find something good with AEW. Uh, you know what? Dave? Well, well, a lot of people. Sorry. You know what, Dave? I've had a better time at AEW events than I have at WWE events. Have Have you gone to a lot of both? I've been to almost every show here in Mass for AEW. Oh wow. I missed like many, but, So you've been more you've been to more shows than Joe has in Massachusetts. But how many no, WWE events have you been no, to? No, if you're growing in WWE, Joe has been to more shows mainly because Yeah, but AEW has. still like I mean they've gone several times to uh Massachusetts, so that's that's mm-hmm. many more than Joe has. But hey, if you've experienced both and you're saying that AW is just a better experience, then obviously you got that knowledge to be able to say that. I mean, I would have loved to been able to go see uh, them in I Toronto. Mean, meeting the AEW wrestlers is easier, too. Well, you wait. Yeah, well, back and you wait for them to come in. Well, yeah, yeah of course but, it's easier. <laughs> but with the, because they go to like the college arenas, so it's easier to meet them. But with WWE, they go to the TD Garden, and there's no way to meet them at all. Okay. So hey, you get, did you get to meet a lot? I met. I, I, I think I have pictures with almost everyone. Wow! Nice. Uh, yeah. Like, I know I have Kenny in the Bucks. I have Kenny at least. Did I, you see MJF? Uh, M- MJF is Chris Jericho. Are like the two that have been invading me the most. Oh uh, well, I'm surprised. Not really. Well, no, I mean, it's it's perfect for MJF. He could easily make fun of your uh, speech impediment. It'd be perfect yeah. for him. Yeah, I know. Maple, I, he'd call I, you maple syrup mouth. Actually, it's funny. Uh, the other day, he, uh, uh, like, faked to attack a kid. The kid flinched, and he tweeted this, and he's like, bitch. Like, basically, he just called the kid a bitch. So, like, <laughs> I gotta say that, yeah, it's it is hilarious that this guy is certainly uh, taking up the heel personality properly. So I I, I, I don't mean to go further, to be honest. I don't I don't mean to break up your guys' AEW talk, but I wanted to bring up something before I forget it because it's been bothering me for a few weeks. And anybody who watches WWE God. probably will know this. Is the new announce. Happened? No, no, the new announce lady, uh, the one who's like, you know, who used to do NXT. She is just, I, I cannot stand her over fucking selling every single fucking announcement. <clears throat> like she has to do this like monster growl when she says something like it's ridiculously over the top and it's so cringe. Like just stop. Like she's trying to be like a tough girl voice. It's just like, I don't know. I don't just, just do a regular announcer. Well, well, I see your point. At least he's she doing her job. If there's some person that should be fired from WWE, it should be Kevin Patrick because he can't do his job at all. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Honestly, no commentator uh, in wrestling right now, I feel, is very good. So, I mean, I can't really hate uh, Kevin Patrick. He can. You, you, you can because he doesn't even commentate. I, and also, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't even his his idea to go to the commentary booth, similar to Renee Young, who didn't even want to go to commentary, and they made her do it anyway, and she sucked, and she's like, "I knew I was gonna suck. Why yeah, would you move me there?" She did say Renee, that. Renee Young was better than Kevin Patrick, though, because she at least she tried. He doesn't even no, fucking try. Dude, Renee Young was not better than Kevin Patrick. Renee Young, every 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 word she had was. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, my. Ooh, ooh. No, you're right. Yeah, Isaac is right here. OK, um, the fact is that uh, basically she even admitted I'm not good at commentary. She'd always been amazing at backstage promos, fucking interviews and all that sort of thing. And when they put her on commentary, she was, you know, di- didn't really want to do it. And she did her best. I'll. I'll admit that, but uh, we see, I think she's done a great job in AEW, and she's got two contracts. I don't know if anyone knows about that. She has two contracts, one for commentary and such, and one for backstage promos, and uh, sorry, uh, backstage production and uh, producing and sort of uh, that sort of thing. So uh, they believe enough in her to provide her with two different contracts. Is she like, I don't 
I don't know if there really is a modern day version of this person, but would she be considered as the modern day version of Mean Gene, like the the backstage announcer who went to another company, um, and you know, like kind of like Mean Gene did with WWF to WCW, and is probably like the most recognizable, you know, like interviewer presence in in professional wrestling today. Because it's like long, that's an interesting question. Uh, technically, everything you've said basically lines up exactly with what we've seen with Renee Young. Do I think that that's the same premise as what we saw with Mean Gene? I don't think so. I think that uh, she's doing her own thing, but everything you just basically said is she's going from one big promotion to another. She is uh, maintaining sort of that uh, uh, popularity or at least, uh, you know, just that relevance that she was doing previously and just moving it onto a new brand. So I can't necessarily say that that's the same intention, but everything that you've just said basically matches up with what she did. Yeah, like because, and I always loved Renee, and I, I was excited for her when she got that commentary role. I didn't know she didn't want it, but I was excited for her because I was like, finally, we get something, we get a fresh voice on commentary. It's a woman, so we'll see if they if that goes well. Uh, and, yep. you know, I, I feel bad for her because she was in that position. And, I mean, she got completely uh, destroyed by so many people, you know. And, yeah, you know, yeah, they, she I, got really criticized on that. And I'll say one thing. It's sort of interrupt uh, Luke. I know that you're real name. But um, <laughs> I, I know, like, look, I know Renee from when she was uh, on TSN. And, um, you know, some good times in my life was watching Raw Thursday nights, and she would uh, do commentary before, during, and after the show on TSN, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and it, uh, like, you saw that somebody, like, she actually knew wrestling. And then when she got a contract, although it was going to be working, you know, behind the, say, the, the scenes and so forth, I was like, good for her. Like, I saw her on Canadian TV, saw how much she liked wrestling, and loved the fact that she was able to get this opportunity. So when she got it, I was really happy for her. But, you know, when I start, you know, when the, she eventually was moved to commentary, I was like, this is a bad move. Joe said that. I said that. Many other people said that. You recognize that. And it was unfortunate because, you know, she wasn't, that's not her forte. Okay, it's as simple as that. It's not her strength. And she recognized that. And she admitted that. But they forced her in that position, just like WWE has done for so many different people. Which is probably the same thing with Neil Patrick or whatever the fuck. Is, Neil Patrick Harris or Kevin. I don't know. I don't even know his name. I feel bad for, I feel bad for him, though. Doogie Howser's doing commentary now for WWE. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you haven't heard it. It was, I, I thought there was something recognizable about him, and I was like, "Holy shit, MPH!" <laughs> um, but, but no, I mean, like it's and Renee, like she did lose a lot of that because before she did that commentary thing, she was like, I remember people being like, oh, "Renee, she's so great. She's probably like the best interviewer talent that WWE's had in like decades or whatever." And like that whole commentary thing just really put a damper on her for a lot of people. And I'm, you know, I'm, it's, I'm excited to see her finally getting, getting that recognition again for like how great she's always been. And she's probably one of the better, um, like podcaster interviews, you know, if the oral sessions, which is a great name, by the way. <laughs> Some people have bitched about that. Oh, it sounds like so sexual. Uh, there's a I bunch of like half naked men fucking wrestling. And you want to like comment about sexuality? Please shut up. I just wish she wasn't such a tease. Like she was oral sessions, but she dresses like so conservatively. Like just take your fucking top off. Come oh, on, bro. Shit. I mean, I seriously. You would like to hear that. You know what, Moxley, you fake wrestler bullshit. Oh, I'm a tough guy. I, I'm joking. I'm, now I'm just being now I'm just being mean for mean sake. Uh, uh, don't kick my I'm ass, Moxley. Why you your death match? Oh no, he's gonna hit me with gimmicked barbed wire. Oh uh, no, actually, he's not gimmicked, but still. Uh, regardless, is apparently um, Mox is facing Guevara tonight. Uh, I think that might be the main event. I'm not too sure. I'm not watching because I'm here with Joe and all you boys. But um, yeah, uh, that is a match that apparently she's been tweeting out about because uh, there's been some sort of contention between the two. So, I, I before I, before I lose it, uh. 
what do you think about the, the, I, I'm I didn't fully understand the last segment. So is Kevin Owens and John Cena tagging next Friday night, or did I misunderstand that? Next, yeah, on the thirtieth. So it's either next. Would it be next Friday or the week, the Friday after that? For what? It's, it's when the yeah the last SmackDown of the year. John Cena is coming back to tag with Kevin Owens to face Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. So it'd be two what? weeks from now. What? Yeah, yeah. So so like Roman was like, you know, you know, Sammy, you should be, you should be a full fledged member now. But Kevin Owens is in our way. So once we get rid of him, he'll be a member. But we're gonna face him on the last on the last SmackDown of the year or whatever. And he gets to pick his own opponent. And then John Cena comes on screen randomly, and he's like. Hey, you know, my friend Kevin Owens texted me. He's like, hey, what's up, Peacemaker? I need you to help me out with something. And did you know that you have, you've wrestled every match? Uh, I'm sorry, you've wrestled a match every year since debuting, but this year is the only year you haven't wrestled. And he's like, well, I'm going to make sure that my streak stays alive and I'm going to face Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn at the last SmackDown of the year. So it was a nice little, like, surprise. Exactly. But I don't really... Yeah, yeah. I I yeah. watched it. <laughs> no, I mean, has Cena really wrestled every at least one match every every year since his debut? Well, no. that's apparent. That's apparently the stat that they that they uh, pulled. They said every that's match. Awesome. Go ahead. Sorry. No. I every just... every every year since he's debuted, he's wrestled a match, except for twenty twenty two. All right. Okay. I mean that that's interesting if it's true. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't use a stat that wasn't true because that'd be pretty embarrassing. Although that would that would be that wouldn't be the first time. I think they said something about like John Cena and Shawn Michaels one time facing each other's in a in a fucking Iron Man match or something. So you know they they've gotten stuff like that wrong before, but. I don't. I don't think they would have used used uh, you know, that bit of dialogue in there if there wasn't any truth in it. Uh, hey, excuse, excuse me, guys, real quick. I I have a quick question. Um, Joe, I I wanted to know your opinion on um, because I, I recently think... heard this. I'm not sure if you you've been able to check into this or not. But now there's reports saying that um, Vince McMahon is saying he wants to make a comeback to the WWE, and he claims that the advice that he had, uh, people had given him to step down from his role was bad, and now he wants to come back. What, what's your opinion on that? I don't know if Joe is here right now. Joe, man, oh. had to step away. All right, well, let's get everyone else's opinion. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't necessarily, is, I think that might just be a big rumor because I don't think there's any way for Vince to even, to get his position in power back. I think once, isn't it like a done deal once he retired? Then again, he is still the majority shareholder, so. Yeah, I mean, actually, no, go ahead, go ahead, Ken. Sorry, Kenny gone. I okay. mean. Dan Kennedy. Yeah, they call me Dan. Yeah, you change your fucking sky, your uh, Discord name so I can fucking call you properly. So, okay, Kenagon, well, what, what the fuck is Kenagon? You're a Pentagon. You're a fucking Octagon. Let, let me tell Hexagon. you. The, let me tell you the story real quick of why I even chose Kenagon. So oh, originally, okay. I was originally the post, uh, my my show was originally going to be a podcast about talking about UFC, WWE, and boxing. Okay, but, so but now it, you haven't done that, and you still haven't changed your name. I did do a couple of interviews, but it didn't really come of anything. And I, I'm just, you can go ahead and change your name. You have my permission. I'm I'm just I'm sticking with it because you know. Okay, well, keep throwing me off. Thank you. But what I was gonna say is, I don't think there a real way for Vince to even come back. I mean, 
the only no. way is if he buys out all the other shares. And but isn't he, company private isn't, he the, isn't he still the majority shareholder? So yeah. shouldn't he be able to overrule any type of decision like that? Or to is it? He is still the majority. I'm going to look this up right now. But last I checked, he still owned the majority, and as such, had voting rights to basically veto anything that he wants. So I'm going to look that up for everyone right now. WWE uh, share uh, holders. There we go. Or per perhaps the shareholders are saying, listen, you're in a lot of hot water right now. We, there's a lot of controversy with you right now, with the whole allegation stuff. And people are we're gaining buzz from you basically retiring. So, I mean, maybe they're threatening to, you know, sell their shares if he does come back so maybe there's something like that that's pre that's preventing him from coming back because i mean that's less money for his company so at the end of the day he's still making a profit off of it whether he works or not i mean if they're even a way for the one of them to buy the other shares and have more power than vince if they have a if they accumulate enough wealth and if vince wants to sell like, so uh, Vince McMahon, uh, as of uh, hold on, uh, as of October fourth, twenty twenty one. No, this is old. Sorry, let me uh, find something newer. I mean, so like uh, Nick Khan, Stephanie, and uh, Triple H couldn't pull their thing together. I, I mean, I don't. That maybe yeah. that's exactly what's preventing him from coming back. That see, that's the thing. Like. I, I just don't believe any of this rumors that he wants to come back and that he's right. secretly controlling things behind the scene because it's like, I feel like he wouldn't have stepped down at all if if that were the case, you know? I'd like to address this uh, and also um, here are the six companies that are uh, holding interest in uh, in the company. Uh, Lincel Train Limited, Cadian Capital Management, Independent Franchise Partners, LLP, Vanguard Group, concerning, American Century Investment Management, and BlackRock Incorporated. Now, if you don't know about BlackRock, they've been buying up, just like Bill Gates, a bunch of farmland throughout America, and they're causing a lot of, uh, you know, shortages. But... Uh, that's another story altogether. Yeah. Uh, well, this has been pretty good tonight. I think I'm going to head out. Um, and uh, Danny MT is a violent person and probably should be arrested. Ooh. Oh, hot take. Fair words. Yeah. There you go. So, there, so, so, from my understanding, there's a bunch of other companies that have bought into WWE, basically? Oh, well, certainly they have um, a lot of investment into the company, and uh, they have influence on this, but uh, so does Vince McMahon. And uh, the idea of uh, him coming back, I think, is ridiculous. Um, he... It's funny that he, the whole thing was that he said that he was advised improperly, so that the advisors that he had told him it was going to blow over in the end. So he thought that if WWE just didn't mess with things, that, uh, God damn it, that uh, basically that uh, things would have gone back to normal. He would have been able to take his position. So his logic right now is that uh, because things have blown over essentially or that it's not as harsh as it was before and all that, that he should be able to come back and uh, this should allow him to uh, to continue to be part of uh, the WWE. But this guy's, what, 86 right now? Like, he has to let it go. He has to let it go. Maybe all this is because he's just fucking bored. Well, yeah, he's old. He's not retired. And if he was, he'd be bored even more and he needs something to take up his time. That's the reason why he wants to be part of WWE. Mm-hmm. God damn it, your connection, fucking Dan, it's just always buzzing. Let me, let me leave and come back. Oh, thank God. Just All right.
Yeah, he certainly did. Uh, Pico Boulevard has joined us. Uh, Joe, I guess, had to step away because he had explosive diarrhea. So while he is suffering on the toilet there, uh, let's welcome this. I'm individual. actually back. I'm back. I'm just eating. When, uh, you, eat, when you eat at Garguts, you, you, just, you need to have a toilet nearby. Oh, yeah, you do. Listen, I, I just... Do. I had to go. Um, I had to go grab some warm. What is this? What did I make? I don't even fucking remember. Stew, stew, some kind of beef stew. Damn it! Uh, I was hoping you say I had to go punch a child, but no. I mean, they, no, they're all asleep pretty much. Um, well, that's even better. They don't move. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I went to go get some beef stew because my throat hurts so much. I was like, I need to get some hot something in my throat. So there we go. I'll give you a <laughs> hot like shot. Like the You want to give me a hot shot in my throat, baby? <laughs> Make it nice and wet. Super chat. Oh, I super believe. chat. Hey, where's uh, Jacob RP? Argentina gonna win. Vamos, vamos. Let's go, Wallabies. Yo, Argentina's gonna win, according to Randy Viper. I agree with that. I'm, you know. <laughs> See. I do have Argentina winning. Um. Well, you should. You again. I should record myself again. I guess this is gonna be the last time that I can do so. But I should record myself uh, as I listen and watch yes. this show. I would because love that. I I get as crazy as fucking the craziest Latinos. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you'll hear some wow. crazy. So I'm gonna have to stab people. It'll be like Joe when he watched the Undertaker lose, or when the Patriots won and he broke his table and all that. Right. And yeah, so. I am gonna talk about Blockbuster at some point too. By the way, so for the people, yeah, what wondering. is something with Blockbuster? I think oh. we're done with talking about uh, wrestling, wrestling. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. No. No. We we pretty much are. It's a poop, right? If they had porn, they'd be open in existence. Yeah. I mean. I do miss uh, Blockbuster, but no, it's really, you know, it's the, the th it's it's not even anything. What you miss is, honestly, what you miss is the idea of it, the I or the event of it, like the excitement of getting the games and picking them out and spending that time with your mother, father, uncle, friend, whoever it is, and then, you know, going home, and then, you, then also you have the experience of playing and watching whatever that thing was, too, um, and it's not even, people always get hung up on Blockbuster, and it's not even just Blockbuster; it's just video stores. Because Joe, Joe, can I ask you what brought you to to ask or talk about this on tonight's show? Well, what brought me to talk about it is the show Blockbuster was canceled on Netflix. There's a show called Blockbuster. See, that's why it's canceled. Nobody watched it, but it was there was one season, and, and it was um, about the Blockbuster. Sh it, it was, was literally stories. about the yeah, but it was like a woke, stupid thing with dumb people. Like uh, it wasn't. I don't know if it was woke, but it looked it looked stupid. Um. They should have done it better, obviously. Um, I didn't even see it. But it's funny because they, people were like, oh, Netflix put Blockbuster out of business twice, you know. That was kind of funny. Now, can I say something? I Well, I'm going to say it anyways. Yeah. Regardless. I'm going to bulldoze everyone, as everyone knows Dave Rose. But um, what you're talking about fucking just hit me in the fucking nostalgia. Right in mm -hmm. the fucking the balls of nostalgia. Balls. Mm -hmm. um, forget about Blockbuster. Any, like, you lived in a small town, you big, lived in a big town, you had a corner store that rented video uh, games, that rented videos. Mm -hmm. You'd go there Friday night. Okay, so, okay, kids, you know, we had a long week. We're going to order pizza or something, get a video or something. Everyone gets their video for the, you know, weekend and stuff. And, yep. uh, you know, and it was just an experience because you would, uh, you know, you would go through the store and be like, you'd, and that was the whole thing, something that you don't see nowadays. What would attract you, or at least might even get you interested, is the cover art of a fucking video, of a fucking movie. So uh, that was something that was very important back in the day, is that you know if you're going to be walking through a store, they're going to have to have something on the shelf that's going to attract you. And uh, that was one big way of trying to figure out what uh, what the movie was all about. And then that might entice you to look at the back and so forth. There was also the video games. It's like, okay, like there's all these different games, like which one should we ch choose and so forth. And, you, you know, sometimes you only had the choice of one or two. And that was for the weekend. That was for two days. So, you know, Friday night you get to eat pizza and stuff and you stay up late maybe playing video games and uh, – it was just, to me, it was just such a great event. And especially since, you know, that was the best time to have sleepovers. You know, your parents would pick up your friends and stuff. We'd go to the fucking video store, uh, get movies, get fucking video games, and uh, go home, order pizza, and, uh, you know, just enjoy the fucking night, you know? 
Oh yeah. Um, oh man, you, you you kicked me right in nostalgia, man. I love it. Broken Lions, a patron, uh, Juan Garibay. Probably is. Um, it's like uh, I just want to experience that again, but it's there's no reason to now with with technology the way it is. So it's kind of like, huh, you know. Well, but that's that's with streaming. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like obviously mm -hmm. with streaming, you don't have to walk through a store to, to watch and, and you see updated, unfortunately, updated graphics for the cover when the old fucking covers were perfect. But if you're out in places that don't have solid Internet connections, as I've worked out in mm -hmm. the wilderness, um, you have places, you have variety stores, convenience stores, uh, grocery stores that actually still rent out videos, DVDs and stuff, and they get current dvds mm -hmm. um and you know if you live in a place where you know you might not have power on the grid or power gets blown out because of you know the fact that you're out in the middle of nowhere oh, this damn. is the perfect thing to fucking provide you with the ability to watch movies and not have to rely on the internet which is the worst thing because it's even more of an insult now to think you want to buy a game you got to connect to the internet, download the update, and then you can't play if you're not connected to the internet? That's an insult to you because <laughs> you paid that fucking money. And where's your fucking copy? Oh, it's a digital copy. So if the company decides, oh, uh, we don't deal with that no more, you lost it. So, uh, this has happened to people who bought movies online. Yeah, that drives me nuts. When I always be, I'm very careful about where I buy digital stuff. Because I'm like, if I don't think they're going to be around at some point, why would you buy this? Um... The other thing is, uh, where'd Danny MT go? Uh, I have no idea. He went, to, he went to tend uh, Lennon's grave. Also, I thought uh, Jacob RP was going to call in tonight. He was. Remember, he was like obsessed about it on your, the other day. He was, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I have to go to Betty Bye. I mean, it's Friday. What, you, what 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 we were you were saying about the games? I kind I of agree that it's an insult. I pay what do you use the GTA 5 as an example? I I pay what 60 bucks for GTA 5 and then 60 and uh I can't use online because I don't pay for PlayStation Plus to blocking the online features even though I bought the game. Okay. You still can't do you Understand where I, what I'm trying to say, or am I sounding like no? You, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you cut out or what, but what I think you cut out kind of or... kind of lispy. I think I think <sighs> okay. you cut out there. Where, hey, where'd Luke Rojas go too? What the fuck happened? I left and I came back. He was gone. He actually said he had to go. Oh, was, okay. I had all this. Oh my influence. god! There was multiple things I was going <laughs> to ask him and shit. I was listening to the show while I was upstairs making the stew. <clears throat> and I was listening to him, and I had all these things, and now, I, you know what, I can't even fucking remember You anyway. raised a piece of shit! You think Ricochet would be more over in a mask? I know it might help Ruby Riot. Hangman is hard to take as a badass no. in a butterfly shirt and frilly jeans. I bet his promos <laughs> dry up his wife's pussy. No. Was hoping we'd go full year without a Cena match. Wings. I definitely don't want Ricochet in a mask. Like, he has more personality without it, even though he doesn't have much. Prince Puma in Lucha Underground. Yeah, I, I, and, I, and maybe he could be Prince Puma, and that'd be something. But just another guy in a mask doing flips, no. Don't do it. You donated oh. 50 bucks. I'm going to take my dick out because you donated 50 bucks. One. You donated 50 bucks, motherfuck boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. How long we going tonight? I don't know. About another half oh, an hour. <laughs> Nine days. I got to be honest, Ghost from the Coast, uh, probably only another half an hour to an hour. I don't know. Oh, you break um, my heart. Uh, you break my heart. I know. Unless you got five grand, I'll skip work. But no, um, I, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, Saturday somebody, night. Somebody get the five grand. Tomorrow hey, Joe, night, I'll monetize this all that. night. I tried to help you there with the dono name um, for people who see that. I might, might help you. The donation name is? Also, I got to say, yeah, because you don't. Don't put a mask on. Um, again, are you trying to cover up the mask of the Latino? Is, you know, you just get mad at the Latino? Who's breathing so hard? What is what going, going on? on? What is that? You raised a piece of shit. 
Happy Bad birthday to Sunny. She turned 50. She celebrated by driving 80 in a 40. <laughs> Guess Uncle Howdy isn't Barry Wyndham. Feel bad for Mandy. Fabulous Moolah used uh. to show her dust cunt on black and white TV and never got fired. Ooh. I own the foot. I don't owe blockbuster fees. What are you talking about? I actually did keep the movie staying tuned after because they shut down. John Ritter. Yep. Sex I on a stick. I don't know that movie. Look at you guys. What? So prim and proper. You got to see that movie, Dave. You haven't watched Stay Tuned? No. Oh, my God. That's a movie I would think Dave would be like, that movie. Yeah. Wow. You got to watch that. You own that on beta or something. Well, it just made the list. I'm sick, so I just blew into my nose into my own asshole. Buy John Cena's card from Joe, everybody. Somebody said, yeah, right. uh, yeah, who wants to buy it? I have it over here at ten grand. Um, yeah, somebody said Joe, or I forget who it was in the chat now. I wish I could remember, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Yo, what's up? What? Did you die? What bird? So, Blockbuster. Are you okay, Bird? The bird was talking, but I don't know what he's talking about. Is he talking? He was. I think Hit Row's getting fired again. Yeah, dude. No. I, I think a bunch of people. I think Triple H made a big mistake bringing back all these people because they just they weren't that good before, and now they suck again. Yeah. Well, that fat fucker botched twice tonight, big time. Mm-hmm. Hit no. Kind of kind of wrong to get rid of baby kids now. What is going on? Are you are you there, Bird, or what? I am. I'm f- trying to figure. Oh, there we go. What's going on? Yeah. Anyways, I agree with everyone. What's it's going on? Very stupid idea. Yeah, I got awesome memories of Blockbuster. Oh, we got an Aussie here now? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Oh, that's right. It's the guy who always goes to Thailand for his uh, quick fix. Bangkok. Oh, no, nah, man. I'm here for the long haul. Oh, I'm here at Banghole. Banghole, Thailand. Uh, man, my Blockbuster used to have, like, Arcade games. Uh, your mum would go shopping, and you'd, you'd just hang out at the video store. They had snacks, they had everything. Oh, was your black Was your Blackbuster a fucking mall? Jesus Christ! Blackbuster. Uh, have oh, ours, What's a Blackbuster? We did have uh, free popcorn. We did have free yep. popcorn. Yeah. Uh, uh, eight bucks big. for a pack of Mike and Ike. Oh, Dave, sidebar, did go with the moonshine, if you can't fucking oh, tell. Oh, <laughs> boy, that's what's wrong with you. Now we oh, know what's Jesus. wrong with you. Rest yeah, in peace, well, Larry uh, Funk. You go blind tonight, uh, d- don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, you should Bro, mix I- it with some sleeping pills as well. Man, hey, I fucking... Hey, you, you, got, you Aussies fucking grab a poisonous snake and lick its twat, and then get high as fuck, and then go fight an alligator, okay? So, like, please. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> And yes, there are no there are no alligators in uh, 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 Australia. So the point I'm trying to make is that this guy swims over to America across the sea because he's high on fucking venom, and he goes to beat you know crocodiles. They're alligators, whatever. Mm. Interesting. Drunk and stoned. How about that? <laughs> but, um, oh, what's, up? I, what's up, Smitsa? Bl- what is up? Uh, Enjoying the good weather while we freeze to death here in North America? Oh, man. If I turn my camera on, you guys would be so jealous. But uh, uh, I jerk off. Fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the middle of the day. I'm about to go hit the gym. Um, you guys all sound like you're having a, a drink, but uh, I'm no, already not there, buddy. I'm going to go to the gym, hit the beach. Hey, this the, best guy. High, the best high is hitting those weights, bro. Yeah, yeah. Feel the burn, yeah. baby. This guy fucking. You know what's the interesting is like this is the uh, this is the land of the original uh, transvestite. What do you call him? Transsexual. Oh my god! Uh, uh, you know, Transvegemite. It's also, really interesting to uh, compare the local attitudes towards the transgender, which has been around for decades, and then like the revolution that's happening in. Uh, Western Western countries. I'm in Thailand, if you don't know. Now, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, very nerdy of me. Uh, most people won't get it. Um, but um, Angkor Wat, 
which is in, I believe, in the northern portion of Thailand. Is, Cambodia, I think, right? Cambodia? Sorry, it's in, yeah, it's in Cambodia, but it's close to you. Uh, yeah. And again, I still consider, well, if you look at the ancient history, it's the same. Siam. Siam. Uh, but um, this, uh, it might be 23,000 years old. There's a lot of information coming out that's uh, probably, uh, pretty relevant to this whole thing. And, uh, well, um, people like Graham Hancock, for example, are being uh, criticized online uh, because they've come out with uh, theories that uh, question uh, modern-day uh, history, which is, uh, you know, guarded by a lot of gatekeepers. So uh, I don't know if you're uh, as, as much of a nerd as I am to ancient history because uh, Thailand certainly has some uh, temples that are at least 3,000 years old. Uh, the... Yeah the uh, architectural skill to create these sorts of things. I'm sorry, yeah, but I'm there's, there's something that. more here. There's, you can't just say, Oh, people carve this out with their own hands when there's technology that's clearly being shown that is much more advanced than we know. Yeah. Well, there's numerous uh, wars in this area over time, but I know, I know people from Laos and also Cambodia, and they've all got their own different interpretation of history. And then there's the common interpretation of history. Uh, it's pretty complex. Uh, you, don't, you know, don't, don't know where to start or where to finish. But uh, one interesting like thing about it, you like old uh, ancient civilizations like I do? Uh, not so much, but uh, you know about well. them. You apparently do know about them, so you're oh. able to comment on them. Uh, I've been listening to a few of your podcasts lately, Dave. Oh. So I feel a little bit, yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm flustered. I'm, I'm blushing. Yeah. <laughs> why, did, why did Dave just send me an erection or, picture? I'm smarter or dumber. That's the problem, though. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming out of them smarter or dumber, Dave. No, that's the thing about Dave, man. He makes you think you're smart for a second, then, then you realize. Yeah, uh, well, I heard question this mark. called Throwdown, so I'm just warming up. I'm oh, ready yeah. to talk trash with anyone. Earlier, I, I listened to Dave. The mate. It's the middle of the day, mate. It's time oh. for a fighting. You should have heard him filibuster oh, yeah. against Danny MT earlier in an argument. It was amazing. Filibuster. I was just making points. If I was going to if I was to filibuster, <laughs> you would know. Man, I'll tell you. Get man. your legs on the or I'll Dave, super kick your dick. Dave, uh, Dave talks circles around shit. I said that one time when I was angry at him. I said, you can talk circles around shit. Did you ever hear that fight? I can't hear shit. I'm not out here croning. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck, Bird? Uh, you're talking, but you can't hear me? All right. Bird just went to kill himself. He says out loud, everybody can hear him. Like, I still can't hear croning. Like, it's like, well, that's, well, that's weird. <laughs> I, I got a question for Dave. I got a question for Dave. What's up, man? Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, research, um, uh, I'm noticing there's a downward trend, not not evolutionary, but just in the last 20 years, mm. at about 1% per year drop in uh, average male testosterone, mm. while over the same period, female testosterone has actually gone up. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking to find the cause of that. So you got any thoughts, Dave? Butchie yes. Yes. Several. Um, okay, so diet is the biggest thing. Um, with the amount of uh, repro uh, like processed foods mm -hmm. that are uh, prevalent in just modern day meals, uh, it is certainly adding to this. You have also um, ingredients that are added in water. Fluoride is one of them, but again, the problem is people are dumping pharmaceutical drugs into the water supply which is then being absorbed and still proce is processed through these water uh, uh, treatment plants and goes back into the water system so um, for example in America it's been proven where you have little girls that are 12 years old and they already have grown like large breasts and that's because of the estrogen that's coming in through the water supply which is result of all Don't these fucking for pharmaceuticals that are being thrown into the fucking water supply, and the mm. the the the, uh, the uh, water treatment plants can't filter that shit out. So you have again, you have like for example in America, American cheese, American cheese literally is two molecules away from plastic. 
but they put it on burgers. They make it look nice. Yeah, it looks fancy and all that. It's not real cheese. And it's bad for you. It's chemicals. It's bad Mm -hmm. for you. It's... And again, the the uh, corn syrup, for example. Oh God, I love corn. I love corn, but here's the problem: mm. corn is right now mostly genetically modified. Anything you get with corn, corn syrup, corn oil, corn anything, it's fucking genetically modified. These things have deficiencies on their own that cause the body actually to 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 uh, be affected by these things. The inefficiencies. Have you guys know uh, celiac with the autoimmune response to gluten? Yeah, that's true. Celiac disease. Yeah. Yeah, and that's only like a new disease. So, this, sorry, like, I, this isn't like a – yeah, I'm celiac. This is like a, in the last 50, 100 years, rates are skyrocketing, and it's because of GMO grain, in my case, wheat yes. or barley. And in your case, in your country, it's GMO uh, corn, you right? You guys are fucking – What's that? I'm glad you bring that up because people will yeah. scoff. Like, because in North America, the problem is it becomes on vogue. So, oh, I'm gluten, like, I'm gluten intolerant. No, bitch, you just fucking are just trying to take up the, uh, you know, like, the, the latest craze. Meanwhile, there are celiac individuals who, and I know them, where, and this was back in the 80s, where it wasn't even known. They'd eat yeah. bread. They eat pizza, and it was a food that they always loved, but they get the worst headaches ever. And it was never known until they started to analyze about the gluten intolerance in individuals. And some may argue that, but the fact is it's quite clear as day. Well, meanwhile, you make things uh, alternative with rice Mm. or fucking egg, and there's no such fucking response from the immune system of the body, and you have a clear idea that Mm. this is being caused by that. But you're making a great point, is that this just didn't start. It's because of what is in the wheat right now right come that is causing this reaction because in the past it didn't have all this infusion of genetically modified or uh, organisms that's what gmo stands for actually people genetically modified organism it didn't have that it didn't cause this reaction in people meanwhile today it's so fucking uh manufactured so fucking uh like What's the word I'm using here, people? Gay. Um, Gay. No, uh, process. No, yeah. There we process. go. Process. Go. That, that, that this is why we get harsh reactions with people. So I know exactly what you're talking about, Smista. Yeah. And they're putting shit in our uh, hygiene products as well. Like uh, you think shaving cream, deodorant, sulfates, toothpaste. In, in, sulfate, people, sulfates. In fu- I'm sorry to fucking keep going crazy here. Okay. I'm going all fucking Alex Jones. Okay, water in the fucking, uh, mm-hmm. you know, makes the co- frogs gay. But look, sulfates in fucking deodorant or antiperspirant, that's the worst thing, antiperspirant. These mm-hmm. things are full of heavy metals. Okay, now listen to this. The majority of all these uh, breast cancer in- uh, instances in society was because women using antiperspirants that had a lot of high metals in them were being absorbed in the, uh, uh, ex- I can't remember the word, exfilary. Uh, it under the uh, armpits is yeah. where this is being absorbed, <clears throat> and it gets absorbed into the tits, and that causes the the, the breast cancer. Yeah, I mean, I look at the, and people are like, oh, that doesn't do that. Well, look at all the like like the old spice right now, the one I use. It literally says on it like no metal harmful metals or tinfoil. It's like why well, do you think it says to. that? They had to because they got so fucking attacked for it. And that's the cheap thing. Like, dude, everyone listening right now, you can think I'm crazy, but why do they keep testing fucking makeup products on fucking beagles? I mean, Fauci. <laughs> Fauci was fucking proven to be testing shit on beagles. Little poor little dogs. Fucking just Holding up on a, on a bed and fucking injecting them with shit. Right. Well, because he's an animal abuser. Yeah. yeah. The guy's a fucking. He's a human abuser. So who cares about animals? Like, I mean, what? War criminal is what he is, and uh, would love to see something bad happen. Uh, what was uh, it? Is it too late to bring uh, back the gallows? 
No, it's not. No, Luke? it's not. I think. Look. Imagine they brought back the gallows and went live with the with the. Uh, they just got to do it. Live executions. They got to come back. Hey, well, I've that would be one way to I... convince politicians to not fuck around. Because again, politicians think they're on the off the hook. It's like no, yeah. you got to make an example of them. They're trying to block right. all the fucking. They're freaked out, dude. They're so freaked out about Elon Musk. I mean, like you got people like Dan Rather or somebody the other day was tweeting. He was like, Twitter is now no longer. It's like, dude, where have you been for the last seven years or eight years? <laughs> like, So hard R, uh, reckless Jeff there in the chat says that uh, apparently beagle dogs are dime a dozen. So he likes the fact that dogs are being killed. So that's weird. That's Joe, Joe, play the clip. Play my clip for him. I actually can't he, because my computer my computer's frozen and nothing is working for oh. some reason. Okay. okay. You know well, we wait for that. You know what? No, no, it you won't. Don't you, you don't want wait for it. It won't happen. It's not possible. I'd have to reboot. Fine. Fuck it. I do it live. I do it fucking live. Okay, do it live. <laughs> you know what happened when you talk about hurting animals? You just made the list, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I was gonna. I would have played a uh, Bangkok stick or whatever if I had the ability. My computer is dying. In Bangkok. And for the people that don't know, I have a. I am a massively sore throat, and I'm sick, and that's why I don't sound right. Um, just yeah, for the yeah. people. My, my favorite all-time song was that abortion one. You can just kill it. That, can I, you remember that one? I don't even remember that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh, you, you went you nuts that night, Joe. That was. Um. Come up in me, give me what I need. Remember that one? And if we yeah. have a baby, you just kill it. Oh, now I remember it. Yeah, you can just kill it. <laughs> you can just kill it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> I don't oh, know that when. video that you made, uh, where uh, you went up to the girl, the first girl, and you're like, oh, "What do you think of Joe?" It's like, "Yeah, yeah, sexy time. I want to fuck you." It's just like, "No, no, no. I'm asking about Joe Cron. I don't understand. It's a sexy time. No, no. Okay, I'm leaving. That was fucking genius. That was great. You <laughs> should just show, it. just show my dick to her. I'll take a picture. For <laughs> well, you know, she, I'm, I'm whatever. Of like uh, uh, clients within the sex trade, uh, like the the Johns. We call them Johns. What do you call them? And uh, where I live, people come far and wide yeah, to call them John's their sex fantasy. Yeah, Johns. So and, um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I've, I've come to, to notice, like, a lot of men come here to fulfill their sexual fantasies, men of all ages. Oh, boy. And that's why I remember that you saw that sign, which was like, have, uh, basically have three women at one time. Mm. Uh, popular fantasy. Yeah, popular. Popular fantasy. But, uh yeah, but I mean, it's, it's a lot of like predatory men here as well. So, for Have the, you ever for as good to make yourself a guide, like you could yeah. basically, you know, make an arrangement with these ladies and be like, okay, I'll bring you the guys, but you got to give me a cut. Uh -huh. And then the guys, you get them to give you a cut. So you're making double cut and you just, you know, hook up these things. You could make probably good money. I'm on the lookout for groomers in particular, not, you know, because they're, they're the ones which I have no tolerance for whatsoever. So basically, uh, you're, you're Batman of Thailand. Sad, yeah. Sadly, they come here. Yeah, sadly, they, they come here. So, but that is the thing, though. You uh, make them disappear very quickly and uh, without any evidence. And, uh, the local, um, well, law if that's enforcement. what you're doing, I'll send you a donation. The next day, you're, you're, yeah. the people are, like, cooking them and serving them on the street, probably. Yeah. Hey, as long as they're off the street, and uh, well, hurting yeah. kids. Uh, who cares if they're on the street being served up for as uh, you know, morning pho. Right. Do they so? Do they serve pho in um? Yeah. Where you are. Yeah, it's not it's not the most popular, but um, but you know, for, uh, they, they like spicy. Or... Yeah, they like a spicy uh, Thai food. Um, you know, Thai green curry, pad Thai. Oh, yes. Um, you know, a lot, uh, that Thai, uh, what do they call it? Papaya salad, mango sticky rice, maybe some dishes you're familiar with. Thai, thai food is my one of my favorite fucking foods on planet. Yes, yeah, the best. Although Vietnamese food are also orgasmic, but uh, Thai food, especially with the coconut, the use of coconut, uh, like green coconut curry. Oh. Oh. Man, you know what's crazy? Because I'm celiac, I've never eaten a pizza from Domino's. I've never eaten a Big Mac. I've yeah, never tried KFC. Wow. 
It's it's crazy, right? All my life, I've never been to a place that... restaurants and and not I even mean, tried you're it. Not, you're not but missing it... anything. No, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second there. Bread is fucking love, and bread is fucking life. And um, no, I gotta say, what? No, 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 about Smitza, like AFC. Smitza, no, no. First of all, Smitza, if I could fly there and make you a fucking pizza that was uh, uh, gluten free, I would, and it would be fucking the greatest thing that you ever tasted. But uh, you deserve better in your life. Are there no places where you can actually have there in Thailand? Something that is free of gluten? You can't have it's free, so like it's free of gluten? Is zero, man. Like my, my tolerance to gluten, like gluten, I think it's like glue protein. That's where it got the name from. And it's, you know how like, you know, those airport shows where they could find like cocaine is like stuck to like <laughs> a like a backpack from like 10 years ago and it just sticks to it. Gluten's like that. So there's a real risk of um, cross-contamination with like oh. shared equipment and things like that. Um, I, would never do dirty, dirty. I would never do you dirty that way, bro. Never do yeah. you dirty. You, you make me your yeah. chef. If I was to no anybody that I cook for, you are royalty, and I mm. will make sure that it is beyond perfection. Okay, to me, being perfect is still not good enough. So you can be goddamn well guaranteed that if you have the privilege of me serving you a meal, it will be divine. Well, that sounds delightful, but uh, okay. Ollie, Ollie, yeah, <laughs> keep it as a treat. Keep it as a treat. Uh, okay. Not an everyday thing. Did you guys, when you were in school, were you guys taught like the f healthy food pyramid or something? Yes. Yep. And like yeah. down yeah. the bottom in like the most fruit was like white bread. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and hey, you, you, actually, uh, yes, but I, do you want to hear how much of a fucking little shit I was when I was a kid? Because I think everyone would probably love this story. Okay, so we got that exact thing. A nurse comes into the class. It's first grade, Ooh. and they're, uh, they've got two little baskets. you got to put uh, a food into one that's a basket that says bad food and one that's good. So I take the milk, and I put it in the bad food. It's like, oh, no, but milk is good. I'm like, but hold on. This is me at fucking, what, six, seven years old. I'm like, but what about all the hormones that they give to kids? cows what about all the uh steroids and stuff that they make to produce dude the, the 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 nurse and the teacher's face went white and like they had to fucking sort of like you know pass me on man i was such a little fucking shit but i love fucking starting shit oh man uh, i got a, i got a fun topic everyone's <laughs> got to say what they got in trouble for the most in school maybe you were smoking or maybe you got in fights yeah, what what was the one time you got your ass chewed out by the teacher? <laughs> there goes Pigo. I, uh, He's I mean, dead. Shit happened. They made the teacher made me stand outside the class in third grade in the hallway because uh, <laughs> we were doing what do you want to be when you grow up and everybody said astronaut or fireman and I said gynecologist. <laughs> yes. I, I, I gave a book review for a, a Playboy magazine uh, when I was about 12. Yes. I brought one in the classroom. I brought it in the classroom and did oh. The worst part, I actually stole it from the from the post, you know, the, what we call the post office. I stole it when they had those big racks of magazines. And, uh, yeah, that got me in a bit of trouble. Got a phone call to my mum that day. That's funny. I miss the lunch lady, man. There was one. They always were nasty, usually, but there was one lady, the lunch lady. My God, bro. There was one lunch lady that was hot. It was weird. It was like oh. weird. Well, I've never had a hot lunch lady, but uh, you, you reminded once. me, Joe. Joe, okay, so you remember, you know, Pink Floyd, um, another brick in the wall, like... Uh, you had this Scottish lady, like, if you don't uh, eat your meat, you can't eat your pudding, right? Mm -hmm. You can't have your pudding. We had a Scottish lady who was our lunch lady back in elementary school, and it was identical. She was, that's how she spoke, like, laddie, stop laddie, get down. <laughs> oh, my God. This And she was she a She sounded like Captain lady. Janeway, kind of, but with a British accent. <laughs> it was like pure Scottish, like she had a thick brogue. She had a thick brogue like uh, McIntyre. And like 
you know, it was hilarious how she was fucking like, stop, bloody, get off the table, bloody, <laughs> stop. Man, I so would like, I, I want to so be like groundskeeper Willie or some shit. I want to be fucked like that and like just told to shut, you know, get a fuck on my pussy, laddie. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, dude, fucking <laughs> goddamn Nightbot timed out Jasmine because she said the N word. <laughs> I'm gonna steal Leah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Love Jasmine. Yeah, Leah. I would love Leah to say that shit to me. Oh, Leah was wearing some. Oh God, she was going outside to have a cigarette, I think, and she like lifted up her arms to like stretch for a second, I think, or something. And I and like her, oh my God, her like tight yoga pants that she's wearing, like, like the shape of her thighs and underneath. And I just, oh, I don't know, bro. I was, I was like, you're in trouble wearing those. This is gonna be dangerous. Like, I mean, this is. I can't deal with this. Shit bomb. JCS, JCS. Yo, Jersey City boys, thanks for the dono, man. Sorry I can barely speak. My throat's really bad right now. I don't know how I'm going to work tomorrow, uh, but we'll see. I, I, you know, I made it in today, though, so. Hey, it is what I just wanted to come on and do a little show. You know, I knew I wouldn't be able to last long tonight. You know what I mean? We wouldn't. I even thought about calling the show off, but I figured let's let's go on and do something an hour or two hours, whatever. So, you know what I mean? And we will, we will tomorrow, assuming I don't get worse, I'm hoping that I feel better. I would think I would get better tomorrow um, because my kids only had sore throats for a day or two. So I'm assuming I got the same cold. So hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, hopefully. But, hey, you can always uh, allow us to uh, help you out, and uh, you can sit Ooh. back and watch us make a mess of all things. That's the <laughs> problem, though, yeah. I fall, well, I'll fall yeah, asleep in this chair. Shit bomb. What? Bray Wyatt's theme released today. What you think? Wait, you got a new theme again? I got a new theme. I haven't heard it, but yes, it's, Wait. it's the same one. It's the same one. The, the, oh, the code orange. Theme. It's the same theme. Why is it a new theme then? I don't. Get, what? What? what I think they're this? talking Fine. about how it released on Spotify or some shit. It's already. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's anticlimactic. Alex Soli, thank you, though. I guess. <laughs> the fuck. He got a new theme today. Shit bomb. It's a different theme. No, it's the same one. I have a store called Discree Play Games DVD. Yeah, I had a family video like type of thing. Don's family video. And then there was uh, Winston's Corner, which was when I was in New Hampshire, it was Winston's Corner and they were a video store. Red Comet Man. What's up, Red Comet Man? And when, uh, then there was another video store that was up the road. And then when, um, when I moved to Quincy, we had family Don's family video. And Blockbuster, I didn't start going. I actually didn't start really going to Blockbuster until like 1996. So, so like I, you know, to me it was just the video store. You're punching me in the fucking, um, you know, in balls. And like I'm thinking back at the first fucking place that, uh, like, I was able to go to rent movies and stuff or the family was able to go rent movies and they had actually two arcade machines. One of them was golden ax. Um, I can't mm. remember what the other one was, but they had that there was, near the back. There was the porno section. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, again, everything was there. Like, again, you judged it by the, the, uh, cassette, uh, cover you know and like the the art for that would you know describe to you what it was and there was the video games and stuff and this was back like when nintendo first came out so like any game that you saw it's like oh i can get that like no matter how crappy it was even though you didn't know what it was because you never played it you still had that opportunity to see it there on the fucking on the the shelf and stuff and it was just such a great experience i think to to go through that uh because again you you know your parents say okay go go check out a a, a movie figure out what you want to watch for the weekend and then you got the arcades and stuff so you oh dad can i play the arcade yeah okay so you're playing the arcade and stuff they're picking out the movies and like then you go pick out your own and it was an experience back in the 80s and then um you know you got blockbuster in in canada you had rogers video <laughs> which is <laughs> dating a lot uh but they all offered free popcorn they offered fucking this experience. You had this ability to walk through aisles with all these different movies, all these video games. And again, like this whole idea of like, 
I just remember this so much as a kid is Friday nights, sleepovers with friends, going together, you know, to the video store and getting movies and video games, renting them for the weekend, and then going home and getting pizza, like ordering out pizza. Like it was a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Stay up all night. Yes. Playing a four player oh, video yeah. game. I would stay up so late with my friends and stuff, you know, but my parents were cool with that and they were, you know, very nice about it. Yeah, the best it games like, you uh, can get it because they get like one copy of the new game and then, you know, you try and get it on a Friday night, but it'd be hard to get. So you could wait six, eight weeks before you got a chance to get your hands on it. It was good. You know what, Dave? I yes, think you, you turned out pretty good. Your parents let you stay up all night. You know, now you're on YouTube all night, you know, hey. <laughs> worked out I love you you're like my long lost brother let's have sex tomorrow listen tomorrow night I might even have a shot I don't know I haven't had a shot in forever um, and, and besides you're cold as long as I feel better I mean I have nothing to do anyway because Leah's brother's here visiting so I mean they just ignore me you know they love each other and they're know. gonna play wow as yeah. well. Even Leah's and even Leah's sister was here. Well. Leah's sister was here earlier. She was like on the couch in the other room while they were like dorking it up and she was basically like, What am I what am I do? Uh, and she just left, you know. No, the sister. Patriots Raiders, Josh McDaniels bowl. Listen, Josh McDaniels sucks as a coach, but he'd be a better offensive coordinator than the piece of shit the Patriots are using. Fucking dude, the Patriots have a defensive coordinator running the offense, right? It's retarded. Hey Joe, have you been keeping up with hockey at all? Uh yeah, I've watched the I you know what I do? Unfortunately, since I have no time really to watch, I've only seen two full games this season, but I have watched um I I watched the like the six minute highlight video of the games. So I seen the, the Bruins beat the Islanders in the shootout the other night and then they lost. Uh, to the Kings, I think, last night. So do you think we got a chance for the Cup? We're the best team in the league right now. <laughs> oh, might be our year. Well, it might be, but we definitely have a chance. We're the best team in the league. We're setting records. Celtics lost Orlando. <laughs> they just made the list. I mean, we set records. You know, we better. You know, you better do well in the playoffs. Otherwise, you'll remember this is the hottest start to a season that never was really anything. You know. <laughs> for Bergeron, I'd like to see them get a second, you know, go for it. Celtics doing well also. Yes. Every night in Boston here, basically it's like, you know, Celtics win, Bruins win. Like, uh. How does Smith's do? You watching the Celtics? I, I like a little bit of American sports, man. I watch a bit of uh, NFL and a bit of NBA. Okay. Well, I want to ask Jasmine. Jasmine? Jasmine, what the fuck? Jasmine, again, Jasmine. J Jasmine, it's, that's what it says right in the name. Jasmine, um, Jasmine. Um, what oh you? Who's God. crazy here? Which, which person is crazy here? You are. Well, crazy like a fox and intelligent like White nobody else. But like, if she says she wants to call in. Well, the Skype lines are open. Fucking. Discord well, no, Skype right lines there. aren't open, but Discord's open. All right. Well, this. You know what I'm saying. Discord well, when Jasmine is, used to call, call in. When Jasmine used to call in, she used to call in on Skype, I think. Okay, well, regardless, she's saying some naughty words, and I think that uh, perhaps he, he, she'd say he drunk. For well, first of all, lady, uh, mm -hmm. if you're going to be speaking English, don't appropriate a white language, but if you're going to do that, what? Uh, say he is drunk, but he drunk, no, 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 no. You have to call in and, and, and address this, okay? And Jasmine, you're so much... Jasmine reminds me of... Um, a manager I have. It's funny. A manager. Yeah, a manager I had yeah, once. Manager. Well, a, a manager I had once. It's uh, not that oh. I have now, but I was um, thinking like a wrestling manager. It's like, nah, me and her. Do I have a manager? No, no. I had a wrestling manager. Yeah, he coached me on how to rape the crowd, um, <laughs> how to rape people in the back when no one was looking. Um, you know, it'd be great. I would love to just go to the back to the Indies and just talk shit about people. Like, just be a bad guy. I should just do that. I should go back to the Indies and be like, "Listen, I want to just come out here and eviscerate Joe, the crowd." Joe, there's there's this. Oh my God, sorry, but there's this fucking 
I'm going to give you this link to this Jigaboo. tweet. But this is a tweet. Now, this happened on... <laughs> this happened on fucking SmackDown tonight. This is fucking great. You have to show this. You have to fucking show this. I'm going to put this in the chat right Jesus now. Jesus Christ, your balls are disappearing because of it. <laughs> good. It's too fucking good. Look at this botch. I'm, I haven't looked on Instagram, so I haven't seen botch fucking club probably feature this but joe you got this right there in the fucking chat of this uh call here mm. and wow wow is talk about a fucking like it. there is absolutely no way you gotta be kidding me well and by the way this also shows how retarded michael cole is you gotta be kidding me he says after he botches it like as he's botching it. <laughs> oh oh my God. God. We're trying to fucking talk over this and make it Look sound legit. Like Cole, what is Top Dollar thinking? I already don't like it. There is absolutely no way. You gotta be oh! kidding me. <laughs> I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that often. Why are they acting what? like he just he got him? Like I mean, like <laughs> what are they? Doing? <laughs> dude, what the fuck are they doing, dude? Why are they selling? <laughs> Why are they selling this? Dude, he runs like a fucking homo. <laughs> dude, hey man, Sonny Kiss can do a better job than this. Dude, Sonny look at him run. How did you not how did you anyone ever think he was gonna hit this move? With a guy running this like, is like WWE this. WWE India. We have the greatest of uh, fighters in India. Look at who runs like this. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God, Dave. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me just. Ah! Like, dude, what? Who runs like this? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh guys, oh please catch me. Oh my god, look at the wrist. Look at how limp the wrists are. As wait, he's running. Uh, oh my I'm god. I'm doing the long jump for the Special Olympics. Oh my god, so oh my god, let me just keep running. I just. Uh, uh, <laughs> look at uh, those wrists. Uh, look at those wrists. Oh. Oh, look at those wrists. Oh my so god. So limpy. <laughs> I want to see more gay people in the audience. I don't know what's the. I can't figure out what the worst thing here is. Cole or I think it's them pretending to be hurt. They they had no no game plan for if that doesn't work. That's. Uh, <laughs> that dude need to stay on the show where they find the no. WWE no. in ring. I'm gonna pass and... out. I'm, I'm gonna pass out, bro. What is Top Dollar thinking? I already don't like it. There is absolutely no way. You oh, gotta Stu. be kidding me. Stu's a fucking trooper. I love you, Stu. He looks like he's yeah, never he done that. He into Joe's show. He helped you out, man. Who? Stu. Stu Hart. No, let's do the fucking. Um, I've got bad news for you. Wade Barrett. I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about Wade Barrett. Oh, okay. Oh, st oh, okay. It, that's Stu Bennett. Is his real name, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna remind you what his real name. I think you're I'm the fucking. You are the business, dude. I you drank, are the inside. I took Theraflu. I took Theraflu, dude. I'm all fucked up. I might start Look, eating I'm my all family. Fucked up too. I took up fucking. Uh, Alcohol and weed. I mean, yeah, I might, we should be on the same level. I don't know why we're not. But. I might. I dude. I wish I was. I wish I wasn't sick. I like it. Totally fucks me up. Like I'm already tired now on Friday nights anyway. But I mean, for God's sake, being sick, dude. I'm so dead. That's why we gotta save most of this for tomorrow night for monetize this whole thing. But this but is really bad, bro. Did I, brother? A great show. Ooh. Absolutely no way. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that often. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it was so bad. It's you gotta so bad. be kidding me, all right. Oops. So <laughs> so the best thing is how Cole Cole says, I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that anymore. 
which basically, you know, Cole calls it out. It didn't work out. But all the other wrestlers act like they got hit. So Cole's not <laughs> selling it. The other wrestlers are selling it. <laughs> the guy looks like he's about to... The guy looks like he's running towards his fucking lover, who's a man. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude. I, I'm sorry, Joe, but I'm getting special Olympic vibes from that jump. <laughs> Dude, he looks like he was about yeah, five minutes... Were you a judge for that? He looks like he was about five minutes too late for a fucking transsexual story time or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? He was like, what? There's kids in a library? I got to be there. Let me put on this a wig. Terrible. No, it's it's ter- it's fucking terrible. It like this sort uh, of watch. Uh, and yet people want to talk shit about fucking AEW. Okay, fine, but look at this and be reminded how pathetic it is. That was not good. That was uh, <laughs> hit row, huh? They'll make an excuse like, "Oh, it's SmackDown." No, SmackDown used to be probably better than Raw at certain points. It probably still is better than Raw, but that was terrible. Well, yeah, it certainly seems to be looking that way because of the numbers that are people watching. Uh, I can't stop fucking like the way he's run, dude. He's running literally like it's almost like he's actually like afraid to come out as you know what I mean, like that he's gay. So he's like, I'm gonna run real gay so people understand, like just you know that I because I can't say I am, but I want to just I want to put it out there. Oh, Don't no. worry, the other gangs are picking up on those subtle visual clues, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the vibes, man, which is fine. It's just like, you know, just just come out and be who you are. You don't have to fucking, you know, code it in your running, you know? like, I mean, like... <laughs> Olympic fanfare. I mean, dude, this is weird. It'd be awesome if there was like a pro gay sprinter and he made it to the Olympics, but he was really fast at that gay running style. And yeah, you know, yeah. What's that song? Oh, you stop it. <laughs> What's that song? It's like, it's like um... that scene from fucking uh, remember uh, uh, Fifth Element where uh, the bombs explode at the uh, opera and oh. Uh, Ruby, Ruby, and then like, remember that, right? Oh, yeah. Are you playing? (laughs) You're an individual. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, make just like a donation or something. That's just fucking all it is. (laughs) <laughs> yes, yes. That timing is great. Oh my god, bro. That's pretty funny. Oh my god, what an idiot. I mean, dude, he really is running like he's looking for cock. He looks like he's like shoving cocks out of the way as he tries to run over the top rope. Oh my god! So it looks bro. like uh, your uh, your lady friend uh, Mercedes um, is done with WWF, and uh, yes, I said the F. Uh, you get the fuck out, and um, uh-huh. yeah, it looks like she's going to be in NJPW sometime soon, and uh, probably won't be going back to WWE ever again. And we'll probably see her in AEW a few months. Let Joe talk. Yeah, yeah. I never did see the Mandy Rose picks. Were they any good? Uh, do you want some? She doesn't seem I like. Got them. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you want some? We got Adam yeah, Rose. I should probably look them okay. up. I, I want to see some. super chat. Give me a second. I'll do it. Mandy Rose news. Joe feel better and Dave who wins Sunday. Um, I'm not gonna jinx anything. Um, I look forward to uh, Sunday's. Uh, uh, match. Hmm. What time is um the game? Because I think it's two p.m. Oh, right in the middle of football, so that's not good in America. Well, who cares about American foosball? Mandy Rose but, uh, nudes thick. Well, okay, hold on. Let me just do this. Is she thick. She's kind of thick. You you relax with the cocks, 
Um, I mean, I'm sick, but I'm ready. You're chatting a moment here. If you'll just uh, Mm. give me a second. I hope you're all getting some time off for Christmas. Okay, I'll put this. No. Well, such thing. Um, All right, in this chat, um, there's the first one. Uh, Technically, in my opinion, not really risque. So mm, can't necessarily say that I agree Mm. with the decision. And uh, let's just uh, find that second one here, if you'll just bear with me. Mm -hmm. Uh, This one, she could have been, she could have done a little better job in covering her nipple. Uh, So this one you probably won't be able to show unless you cover it up, Joe. But um, this is another photo from um, Mm. her uh, her leak. Look look that up and down, yeah. That first one really, I mean... You've seen okay. Yeah. Look, if if Sunny fucking went up, was it Sunny that went up? Whoa, with the those are her tits. Well, yeah. Are those re- that doesn't look real compared to the ones up top. Well, that's what it was given to me. Somebody you know that I know basically paid that money. I don't so. see that same ring either. Like, I don't know. That's what I was given. But regardless, the first one is her. Yeah, the chin don't even look right. That's weird. That don't look like her on the bottom, but the up top one okay. looks like her. Plus, her her neck is too long. I don't know. That's just me. It could be wrong. Okay, first one still is her. So yeah, up top. She finger banged herself. Is that true? No, nah, the the freckles on her body they match up. Really. Man has a good eye. Oh, she's also got that black wristband on, too. I wonder how much of a bitch she was being at work when she's making more money from uh, from her private ventures and she's getting beaten up on at, at uh, wrestling. I think she's probably just – she probably got fired, but she was probably being a total bitch as well. Maybe. I, I heard she had some problem with Shawn Michaels. Uh, apparently, she was quickly written out. Once uh, Shawn Michaels found about, found out about this, did you read about that? No, well, no. I mean, sort of. I just heard she had a problem with Shawn, but you know, how about these fucking double standard people? You know, look at all the shit Shawn did. You know, Janelle wants to see the photos. Well, that's uh, up on Discord, Janelle. A very sexy predicament. Yes, hmm, I want to see your photos. Yes, we'll trade. Let's see if you're over twenty one and you're a female. Let's see them. They don't have to be nudes, just good, yeah, good pictures. That's right. We're we're starting Jolie fans. Yep, Jolie fans, and I want to I want to have a calendar with the females of this community. So I don't. That's care right, what... ladies of the community. And I don't care if you look like a bus. You know, we're gonna put you in the fucking calendar. Okay. Hey, a if bus. you like the fuck, then uh, we can what? feature. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We want to see it. I want to see what's in there. You know. Remember Monica? Imagine Monica being in that with her big, gigantic juggaloos. Yeah, she could make her own fucking calendar and make fucking big money on that. Probably, Those tits right. alone will uh, will certainly warrant a uh, big donation. Right. I know. Um, I got I got her Christmas card the other day, and well, good lord. Do you think this will become a trend where uh, the the female wrestlers can make more money? Uh, Doing this type of thing than, oh, yeah. than wrestling and WWE can't no, hold on WWE to. WWE better step up their game if I've they want to keep this. their fucking talent. I've been saying <laughs> this for I've been literally saying this for years. I've been saying, dude, just make an OnlyFans and fuck this company. Like, dude, you'll make look, dude, just Who's add it up. Sasha? Sasha fucking got on fucking Mandalorian. That's fucking badass. <clears throat> That's badass. All they need to Are you do not a fucking Star Wars fucking show. Dude, if they went on yeah. Twitter and said, tonight I'm going to be in my bubble bath tonight for the to everybody on my OnlyFans, and OnlyFans was like 15 bucks a month, dude, they'd be making like fucking over 10 grand. So it'd be like, they'd be making like 30 grand or 50 what grand a need month. What you to do is like, I'm going to watch uh, Monday Night Raw in my bathtub. And, right. you know, and, and you can see my reactions. That would fucking rake in millions. Right. <laughs> It's just a different type of pay per view, isn't it? Yeah, well, they've all take all. See, all the wrestlers took our shit. You know, <laughs> I was reviewing wrestling, making money, donations, reviewing wrestling. 
now the wrestlers are like, fuck wrestling. I'm going to do what Joe Cronin does. Like, it's like, what the fuck? No, I'll, I'll you know, switch I, with I, you guys. I, you know, you're wrong, Joe. I eat chips. I eat chips on my my uh, my streams, and I uh, I shit on people, and, uh, you know, feed me more. Feed me hookers. I can't even do that with my throat hurting so bad. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Speaking of somebody who can't talk. Yeah, you sound like a robot here. Okay, you're going to probably. Oh, my bad. Yes, your connection is very bad. Look at me. I was making a lot of money on YouTube. Better. You know what I mean? I'm nobody. You know what I mean? And I was making a lot of money. No, I'm not now, but I mean, I was. Now I'm making like. You know, I all right. Know. Janelle Janelle seems to be arguing me. She says, "Please, you act like Sasha is in a big time movie. She's on a streaming show." Well, that was one of her things. She's going to be appearing in New Japan shortly. She's warranted and uh, admired and sought after for uh, potentially appearing in multiple uh, uh, movies. She's been featured uh, on red carpets for fucking, uh, what, Wakanda Forever, uh, I think uh, Who, Black what, Adam. Featured on red like, carpets. What does that mean? Like, No, the, the point is that if she's going there, she's in demand. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't give her an invitation if she wasn't something that they thought would bring attention to them. You don't just invite anybody to the red carpet to one of these events. You invite somebody that's going to bring some influence. So if she's there at Wakanda Forever... Her and Naomi, well, they're clearly bringing some attention to themselves. So, yeah, from the neck beards. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, I agree. Oh boy, my throat hurts. All right, I should go to bed, and we'll do uh, monetize this tomorrow night. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better tomorrow night, and I'll be uh, down to get wet and hard and weird. I hope so. We'll see what happens. Save that voice. Save that pretty voice for us, Joe. I love you. I love you. you. Good night. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, uh, night, Joe. Danny, uh, MT, and thank you, uh, Dan Kennedy, and Mr. Pico Boulevard, and uh, Luke Luke Rojas, who was here earlier. Really funny. He was like here for twenty minutes, but it was really funny. Yeah, it was cool to have Isaac here. Yeah. Isaac, he's brown. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night for Monetize This. Save your lust for tomorrow night. Saturday night, Monetize This. Oh, yeah. Right it's going to be a giant cum party. It's going to be a cum party. You hear that? Cum party. Big, big ass. We're going to have a big ass cum party up in hey, this motherfucker. Rojas. What's going for that guy's mind when you come? Shout out to Ghost from the Coast who dropped a big $50 bomb tonight, man. Um, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Get wet. I'm trying to make myself look like I'm on crack is all. I love you guys. Keep it hard. Hit the like button, by the way. We need the like button to go up my ass. Seriously. I don't feel good. Hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. And I wish you, I wish I, it's too bad, man. I'm sorry, brother. I appreciate it, man. Hey, you can do it, man. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I still make money on YouTube. Obviously you guys are very supportive. You know what I mean? You guys are supporting me on Patreon, dropping donations during the show live and everything. So I I mean, YouTube is still a job. Like it's still a full-time part. It's part-time job, but it's still a full-time income, you know, that I get from this, from YouTube. So it's still very important, but I had to get another job, you know, to, to make as much as that or more. And I need a maybe a third one, you know. So it's kind of fucking crazy. So I appreciate it, but yeah, I can't always be live in the day. So I'm sorry. But uh, Wednesdays in the day, you'll catch me a lot of times in the day on Wednesdays. And uh, obviously tomorrow night, monetize this. We should be good to go tomorrow night. I appreciate it, man. Um, but yeah, no, no. So that's it's that's what it is, man. That's why the people. Some people like I don't know. People are just haven't been listening for a while. Didn't know what was going on. But yeah, tomorrow is monetize this. So tomorrow night, monetize this. And by the way, we're on our way towards 400. We're almost nearing the 400th episode of monetize this. So that's that's coming, man. Oh, that that, that uh, video that you did 
where we were on the show and uh mm. what so, a night you know what's funny is uh leah's brother is over <laughs> but uh you know hey i just thought it was funny because they were up there talking about them and i'm like oh that's funny yeah they used ladies to be- and gentlemen isaac rojas yo that's luke John? <laughs> fuck him i'm just kidding danny mt man he's he might kill somebody tonight what's up danny Oh uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to uh, behave myself, but uh, I'm. Did you say you Did you just you know say you're saying? trying to hate yourself? Is that what you just said? No, I said I'm trying to behave myself, but I just have this irk in me. That's what oh. I heard. People walking by, and I, you know, they seem so like solemn and fucking like innocent, and I just, I just want to take that from them. I don't want what? them to uh, have that happiness. So, okay. Jesus I'm, Christ, time to see a therapist. I'm, uh, I'm I'm trying my fucking best, dude. I'm trying my best. Dude, are you like one know. of those random violent people that just out of nowhere attacks people because you didn't like what they look like? No. no. I don't know, man. That took a long time to answer. <laughs> I'm kinda It did, it did. No, and I, I thought you would say something about that because when I was younger, yeah, like I was kind of that kind of asshole. Like I just don't like the way you look and if you looked at me like fuck mm. you, you know. Yeah. I would just Pop off, but now that I'm old as fuck and getting osteoporosis and fucking prostate fucking cancer and shit, like not really, but anyways, um, it hey, could. Joe. Uh, Joe, D- Danny's like the guy from uh, Star Trek Voyager who killed that one guy just because the way he looked at him funny. He's like, <laughs> I didn't like his stare. <laughs> That's yeah, so but, like, weird. Just don't stare at me wrong, and just don't stare at me because if I'm sitting somewhere and I look over <laughs> and I see you looking at me. I'm not going to take my eyes off of you until you look away because you were already looking at me. Yeah. So if you continue to stare, it's like, okay, you're a fucking weirdo and you are fucking staring me down. Then I'll have to get up and be like, hey, man, like maybe smack your fucking drink on your fucking shirt. You know, like the Mm -hmm. fuck is your problem? What if someone accidentally just happens to catch eyesight with you, eye contact with you, and you're like, this guy must try to start a fight with me. Okay, I'm going to break his fucking jaw. (laughs) That's not a little bit of an overreaction? Anybody can fucking catch eyesight for a second and then just look away and go about their business. Cool. But if I look over and you're already looking at me, I'm going to continue to look at you to see if you look away. But if you keep looking... Who's done that to you? There's a fucking problem. Like, dude, why are you fucking staring me down? So I'm going to address it. You ever think think about cutting somebody up who does that? Like, looks at you? No, 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 no. No weapons, no weapons. Uh, Just just fists. No, I don't want to cut nobody up. I don't want to shoot. Russia, we bludgeon them to death. (laughs) Uh, Just fucking fists, elbows, and knees. Mm. Uh, okay. Seems like an appropriate response for someone staring. Yeah, you know, just physical yeah. violence How until they're you? dead. What Stop. do you think? What do you Stop. think you deserve? Tell me, one of mm. you right now. What do you think you deserve? If I'm sitting somewhere, let's say I'm sitting at a fucking McDonald's and I'm I'm just looking sloppy eating a fucking Big Mac. Mm. I look up and I see you just staring. So I continue to keep my eyes on you, and you just continue to keep looking at me. Am I supposed to look away like, oh, that's awkward, like look yes. back? Yes, you look are. At me? No. Yes. Yeah. No, not at all. No. no. You look also, at me. Also, when, kind of Danny, when did, when did this happen? Huh? Has, that, has that someone ever just, like, st- stared at you for, like, five minutes straight? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yes. I've looked you, over, you- looked away. You know, it started that way where I would look okay. over, look away, and then I look back again. You're still staring. Look away. Look back again. And then it's like, okay, now you're looking at me for some kind of weird ass reason. So you to approach you and be like, what exactly is this you want to fucking see on me, dude? Like, okay. And like, okay, at that point, did you go up to him and ask him what the problem was, or did you keep looking back at him? Because the point is. That if, like, what, is this somehow affecting your ability to eat? Yeah, he's staring at you. Maybe he's mentally ill. Chances are he probably is. You need to take an issue with that? Really? Or maybe or maybe he was wondering why there's a... Oh, you didn't give me a chance to answer you, Dave. I said that, yes, I go up, I go up, and I ask, 
initially. Like, I don't just go up and hit somebody in the face like a weirdo. Like, no, oh. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is your problem? Why the and fuck? And then you kill them. <laughs> and then it'll either go like, oh, I'm sorry, it's not like Here's- that, or to be like. I don't know. I'm looking right. where I want to look. Kenny, like, Kenny oh, where's the damage? Where's the damage of somebody staring at you? Unless they're coming at you with a fucking knife or something. No, okay, you're so staring at you. Can so you imagine, and imagine what's going for that guy's mind when you come up to his table. It's like, oh, first this guy is like staring at me weird all night. And now he's going to beat me up. Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's thinking that you're looking at him weird. You know, and you probably give him that like because sadistic, I- like <laughs> Russian glare. Like, you will fucking I- die. <laughs> And I see somebody's eyes beaming on me. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Okay, that's kind of creepy. So you look away, like, whatever. I don't know. And then after a couple seconds, you look back over, and there's still beaming their eyes on you? No, it's going to get to a point where it's going to stand up, and I'm going to ask you, like, what the fuck is it you're looking at? Why are you staring at me, bro? Like, you're creeping me the fuck out. what What was this guy's response? Why did he stare at you? Well, this is not a guy. This has been several times. I've had people that are like, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was just looking that direction. Blah, blah. I'm like, okay, no, no problem. No, cool, 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 cool. Buy him a beer. You know, like, all right, sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought you were being a fucking weirdo, but right. I got you. You know? Yeah. yeah. And everything's fine. But I've had people that are being like, uh, what the fuck do you mean, man? I can look wherever I want. I'm like, well... You can look a lot of different places, but you're looking at me. So now there's an issue here. Like, what the fuck are you staring no, at me? No, no like, Danny, you're wrong, man. Up. It's not illegal to stare at anybody. And, you know, I, if you feel uncomfortable, no, right. well, that's your problem, really. Yeah, there's it's, psychos out there. Okay. And what are they and doing? You, are they hurting you? No? Who the fuck says it's illegal? You know? And you ever wonder if you're doing something? It's free to look. You want to look at this awesome massiveness that is Dave Rose and his uh, <laughs> toilet bowl uh, touching cock? Okay, fine. Ooh. You know, but if you want action, it's going to cost you. But you can look for free. So what's it cost you, Danny? Yes, Why are you getting so fucking upset? I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you can take it. No, you go up to these guys. We're like, what's the deal? It's like, yo, you stare at me all you want. Fucking hey, bang it. I'm fucking awesome. You. And you I fucking know it. Talk to you, and you're staring at me for 10 minutes. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going get up. No, and I'm, I'm fucking. Of course you're, you're staring at me. I'm fucking, fucking beautiful, baby. <laughs> no, no, you're going to get hit for that, too. Because I ain't down with that. I'm, I don't do okay, that. Okay, well, that's your problem, then. Who Even gives Joe, a fuck if they're tearing? Joe, Joe will go on and sit on the lap of a fucking drag queen and be like, hey, baby. So, like, mm. hey, who cares? Who but cares? Joe's different. Like, Joe can fucking pull shit off like that. I don't have the gift of fucking gab. Slap yeah, fucking Dan- Danny doesn't like gay people. The gift so, of gay. You know, that's probably why. <laughs> And it's also, Danny, you ever wondered if you're doing something to warrant all these stares? He looks so yeah. handsome. <laughs> That's the thing. Danny, you, you got to look less handsome. That's why we look at you. Nope. Nope. Why, not, I've been why told, is he beating that guy to death? <laughs> I've been I'm in sorry, many I was fights. staring at the crime scene. <laughs> I've been in many.